Oh, Sven's getting all scruffy with it. C9 Fudge Packer picking Cannon once again. Once a motherfucking again. C9's comp seems a little bit outdated, yes. <laughs> I don't really see much Oriana or Kennen. Yeah. These champs don't seem very good. We'll see, though. Obviously, you can still team fight with them, but. I think Poppy's insanely good against Kennen. Oh, but Augie's doing a really good job stabbing the minions. It's always a treat to watch an Azir who stabs. Huh. Interesting place to put his ward instead of the bush. I feel like he didn't expect to see Blabber here. Perfect. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, -y! wait. Yikes. I think it's a little bit weird that Jensen got his flash traded <laughs> I'm done, when he done, saw done. Poppy the whole time. That's yeah. so stupid. I mean, you could argue like, oh, he's oh, he's like happy with that trade, but I don't know. I feel I wouldn't feel too bad if I'm Jensen. I would just be like, what the fuck? Like, really? I mean, there is a window where you're going to get punished when Azir has six. So. Perfect. If Jensen dies off a of flash shuffle, it's because uh -huh. he completely griefed at three minutes. Yeah, that's that's a good point. I actually went to sleep early. Like, I, I we finished the thing yesterday. Yeah. I took my dog out, and then I actually fell asleep at like before 10 p.m. The hell? hell? Yeah, I slept Must... almost an entire 24 hours. I ended up waking up at like seven or something. 24 God. hours. I mean, not quite, but. <clears throat> fucking hibernated. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Even Kenan's I here. Might, I think you might be behind, sir. Mm, really? Maybe, I don't Time know. Time check. I'm, I'm at 5. 33, 34, 35. I'm um, 30 seconds behind you. Yeah. You're 30 seconds behind? 40, three, 41, yes, 42, 39. Okay. All right. I think he makes you count the entire... The entire game. Just keep, keep counting. Minute. Just don't just just keep counting. Yeah, no, just just keep counting. <laughs> well, I sped up and it went past where you were counting. So I had to make sure and it was correct. It wasn't possible to pause and remember the cadence at which Double Ups was going and to just meet up with him. You, nope, well, you because don't I'm staring at my timer. Like, sneaky, sneaky just like doesn't really do the whole math thing. Oh my God! Oh, Who could have no. guessed? Is Who Double could have guessed profit? this would happen? Someone check him PC, dude. Am I cheating? This is actually not normally. Am I cheating? Am I am I actually speeding up into the VOD three minutes into the future? Damn. That was so unexpected. I How actually okay, you know? what I will say though is the way that Poppy stunned into the zero ulti was like I didn't think it could work that like that. Yeah, yeah. It was I, like I, a really weird angle and he did it so fast that he didn't like wait for it to like fully finish the animation, so I learned something new. It's like pretty forgiving for the Poppy side. Yeah, Perfect. I was thinking the exact same thing. I, like, he wasn't coming at it head on either. It was, like, yeah. angled. Yeah, it was, like, barely, barely, like, uh, less than 90 degree angle. I don't know. It's just very suspicious seeming. Yeah, I'm glad they're showing it again. So, hey. Oh, I kind of want to see. The pop <laughs> look, yeah, look where Pop. Look, dude, what the fuck yeah. is that? That's such an awkward angle to do it from. It I guess it makes sense, right? It totally He's makes sense. It's just sometimes a game. It's like I'm like afraid that the game won't make sense, so I, I like am overcompensating for stuff like that. You know, like if I was Poppy, I would like probably move a little bit more to the left before I press E, just thinking like, man, the game might just fuck me over for some random reason. But and they've obviously played the combo before, which is really nice. When Poppy hits you, like, will she push you the same distance if she's right next to you when she starts the E, or if she's like completely max range when she starts the E? Do you guys no know? No idea. I actually don't know. It sounds, it seems like it would be. 
right? Like it, it would seems be like it would distance? be, although it, yeah, it would be the same. But it doesn't feel that way in game. It feels like there's like a hundred range difference each time oh. that you play. Wait, Blabber just flashed like a moron, oh. and he doesn't get punished for that. Are you serious? He flashed to finish oh, the herald. Wait, <laughs> but like, I don't know if he dies for it. It's he close. might live. Hey. Okay. Oh, oh, thank God he got punished for that okay. flash. Yeah. It... He didn't need to... He... Okay, so what he did is, he's in smite range. He flashed to, like, do a Q, a Q smite? I don't know. It's no, like... he, he hit the eyeball, right? Oh, like, is like that what it was? Like, he repositioned to hit the eyeball and finish it. I but, see. Like, it, it obviously wasn't worth it, because, like, he kills and he gets it and denies it, I guess, but... Cannon is so much stronger than Aatrox. I think dying for a Herald like skill is legit worth it. Is that not Fudge's bad? Look at what he, how he played that. Some days one HP, and, and Fudge has Flash and ulti. He just let himself get wall stun and ulted out. He should have committed with Blabber right there. I think Blabber's play was actually pretty good, like the Flash. It, yeah, looking at it again, I think he's actually just fully thinking that Fudge is going to play that any other way. Like, he's just going to ult, he's going to Flash ult, he's just not going to get wall stunned. Like, three things happened that were, like, Pretty bad on Fudge's part. Yeah, C9 didn't actually pick up the Herald though, so it's less worth. But even still, like just the Herald itself giving 300 gold is so fucking big. Yeah. Nah, for sure. I mean, I, damn, Top was really getting behind farm wise, but um, after that, it's like a lot more stabilized since they want to fight. Usually with these AP tops like Rumble or Kennen, even actually I feel this way with Orin, but he's not really an AP top, he's just a tank. They, they're super advantaged in an all-in fight at Herald. They just have like more damage. I think team fighting champs are generally pretty good at team fighting. That do be making sense. True. Dude, Aatrox is a team fighting, Aatrox is a team fighting champ. He just scales. Like, I don't think he's good early. Yeah, he kind of needs some items. Hmm. What the oh. fuck? Lever? Lever? He's not dead, but... No, he's got not shit dead. on him. What, uh... What is he taking domination? Is that normal? If I had to guess, it would be ulti hunter. You wouldn't go treasure hunter in a fucking real game, would you? That would be so grief. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that, that rune's pretty fucking crazy, but... Yeah, I guess in a competitive game, you're, like, legit not even guaranteed to get value out of it. It's, like, I even... I think you're pretty guaranteed know. some, but it'll just take a while is all. Like, yeah, the gold it, will come so the, much the gold later. Won't, the gold won't matter. And, like, if you get early kills in competitive, you usually snowball anyways. It's, like, it's not gonna make your snowball that much better. That's how I feel about it, at least. Yeah. Do they kill him here? Yeah, they do. Wasn't too close. Fudge did do Hype. a flash, thinking, like, preemptively thinking about Q flash from Aatrox. Whoa. Oh, shit. Really missed coordination by 100 Thieves. That almost felt like if Closer didn't ulti, it would have been just so much better. Because they could have killed Sven. Oh, and chat said Berserker has Treasure Hunter. I guess you can look it up on the Elite Sports, probably. Oh, I see. Huh. That's pretty weird. And not normally at all. Yeah, I I think generally competitive, you're probably better off with the free boots and cosmic. In soul queue, though, yeah. I, I go like sudden impact treasure hunter on a lot of champs instead, like Diego Belveth. I mean, or... Solo queue. Alternatively, in competitive, if you know the game is going to go slow and you're going to get a lot of value, you just go absolute focus gathering storm and you get quite a lot of stats. Big stats. When was the last time we saw someone take gathering storm? 
I don't know. I would be doing it in playoffs. Really? I always go Gathering Storm in playoffs. Yeah, people are just so fucking scared. It's like, I just like, I would love to, I would love you, like, somebody can show me that you can punish it. That, like, you can make it uncomfortable, then I'll, I'll do, like, free boots and cookies. Yeah. I guess 80 carries never really go Cosmic. So good for jungle, though. Yeah, that's true. Oh, Cosmic is definitely good, though. Eclipse Aatrox. BB was doing this today. Wait, also Electrocute Aatrox. Holy fuck. He's actually going Assassin Aatrox. Nah, I want to see oh, him wow. just pick up a Prowler Claw, man. Fuck Eclipse. <laughs> Prowler's third Q. That'd be super funny. It, it, Berserker went Treasure Hunter. We were talking about all the runes. Yeah. I think... I, I could see it. You know, it's... Every rune has its chance of being really insane like even you know sometimes free boots has a chance of being insane i think this game if fbi didn't go free boots he would feel pretty fucking bad like going boom and potentially just being down boots completely as opposed to like just straight rushing his mythic 20 cs down having like an even spike and, and obviously treasure hunter is really great i think if you get any early kills with it you can just start snowballing like crazy but. I want to chat brought up a good point that Zeri is guaranteed a Penta every single game, so it actually gets value there. True. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah. Oh, baby. We brewing up a fight again? Dwagon fight? Siggy's playing PoE right now. Siggy's actually playing PoE. Yeah, he's Siggy's not showing up on his monitor. You sneaky. Nope. Fuck you. Good old snakey. Is this the longest that you've ever played a PoE League? Because nope. you got rich? <clears throat> no? No, I farmed up enough currency for a headhunter one league. Wow. Not not even getting anything crazy. What's a headhunter? One of the most one expensive of the items. Most expensive, yeah. Mm. Very expensive. What's Wait. It do? Damn. And it's another heist. Walk away? Doing a heist. Dude, they can't be doing a heist on, on 100 Thieves. Those guys are the heist guys. Hold up. This is not okay. Dude, did 100 Thieves realize C9 didn't have a tower there? They could have like flanked with Azir and fucking made a tower behind them. Oh my god, that whiffed? Ooh. Damn. That was so why close. Fudge, why, why Fudge is so scared to go in there? Isn't that just a perfect turn opportunity? Like, their, their engage fails, so like you flash in yourself with ult. Hmm. I, I mean, I think it's kind of hard. Like, he'll, Poppy, Azir, and Exhaust are going to cuck him pretty hard. But he just needed to lock the closest target down for one second, and he would have it would have been fine. Doesn't does he have stopwatch or I'm no? Because that, that would have changed everything. If he, if he could ult in and stopwatch, like I think it buys his. No, okay, okay. I could I could understand why he didn't do it, but at the same time, like I'm still a little bit disappointed. He didn't he didn't just send his ulti at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm not totally sure. Maybe they just don't feel confident fighting right now. Yeah, let's see. If it seemed like a just get out because we got the dragon kind of thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, He's Jensen gone. just needs to get out after getting dragged. Right here. <laughs> Ooh, good TP flank by someday. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was sick. Jensen caught with his panties down a little bit. Jen Jensen caught with his pants down the same way that Medios's band camp mate was caught. Oh. <laughs> in front of uh -oh. the entire by, class. By Medios. Not in front of the entire class. Literally humiliated and traumatized for life. Literally, <laughs> nobody saw it. He's still traumatized. Except for Medios. Can't cure he trauma. Yeah, Medios saw it. These guys are just coasting, man. They both already made worlds. They don't really care who wins here. Playoffs? Yeah. It yeah. ah, doesn't matter who wins. Plus, they both still have another life. This is winners. They, they, don't, they both don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't even pause for audio issues. They're just like, oh, I really CBA, man. Riot has typically been pretty good about that stuff. I I wouldn't doubt that it actually was some like pretty bullshit issue to fix. You guys didn't oh, read yeah, uh, but... Peter's like description of it. My description? Well, Peter Dunn. Gotta look it up. <clears throat> the EG. What did he say? Uh, he said that like audio was entirely cutting out for. 
I don't know if it was literally all the players, but I think it was pretty much EG. Yeah. Although it was affecting both. Uh huh. No, like, I mean like like I... there was no white noise. There was no game sound, <laughs> like that type of audio cut. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. It was. It's. I would pause too. Anyone should pause for that. I, I'm just saying from Riot's end, like. Yeah. It probably was some like fucked up issue that was hard to fix. So I don't think yes. they're just like dumb. Yeah, yeah. Fix it. It does not happen that often. Usually, when there's like a lot of pauses and stuff, I would say like most of the time it's a player spilling shit on their desk or some random bullshit that has nothing to do with Riot. Oh my god, they be running, dude. Oh my god, that was a sick. You oh. can't react to that, by the he way. Actually, That's too hard. He's alive. He's out. Wow. Yep. And he's going oh. back in. Oh my god, Shiver Holy dies. fuck, Blabber is shit. actually- Holy sh That was such a nice turn, dude. What the fuck? Holy, holy shit. Holy fuck. That was actually so nice. I was thinking that when he had the Renata W, I was like, do you turn this? And he actually went so hard right there. That was fucking nice. Was it Blabber dude, first or Fudge? Because it, it kind of looked like Fudge, but I didn't watch Blabber after he like got out. I, I it, think was, it was Blabber. Both. Really? I thought it was... Uh, let me see it again. And counting. I mean, I'm sure they'll replay it. Apparently Blabber first. I, I was only watching Fudge. I didn't even realize that Blabber right, dude, like, in with Watch it. the way Blabber played it. That shit was actually fucking insane. It's such a nice play. Let's see it. Here we go. The chase him down. This is good League of Legends. This is like, it didn't feel like 100 Thieves did something overly no, they, bad they, here. They like, it, one, it yeah. seems reasonable. They're chasing Almost him down. Him. They see the angle. This is really He's got hard no to react clone. To right here. Flash, stun, ulti, exhaust him. Okay. Good stopwatch. Stop watch. Time. And now, Ganon's CP. Berserker's They're running here. away. Oh, yeah. Oh, Holy you're right. Shit. It was totally Blabber just doing some That was nuts, that. dude. He was so fucking low for it, too. Yeah. Yep. Wow, God a damn. random added benefit of Wukong is, like, he just immediately knocks up Yumi, uh after fucking the host dies or even if she tries to escape and attach mm. to somebody else that Wait, is I... did you guys notice yumi's running first strike yeah and ludens oh huh. i did not notice that until just now same i did see people playing around with this like ap Zer or yumi thing We've seen it before, like a lot in the past. Yeah, yeah, but but like not recently. This is due to those like Free day goals. one hotfix buffs they did to the Yumi after her nurse. <laughs> I've got it, man. Give it a little damage. First strike, Sivir. You just bounce off the wave and collect free gold. Every wave. <laughs> free. And then Genius. You first strike, Zeri. <laughs> okay, first strike, Zeri. W somebody. Free counting. gold. That one is more viable. Well, that's like I mean, okay, the, the, mid, the mid laner. Mid yeah. Zeri was playing that. Yeah, it's definitely mid laner. Big brain stuff. First strike, Poppy. Okay. You just flash stun somebody from fog and get free gold. Free. It's all Actually free, free here. It's all free. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so free every time. There's no opportunity cost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you guys play against first strike do you, in lane, do you try to like go out of your way to hit them before they can trigger the first strike so they don't get value? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's not about the gold. It's about the damage bonus. Because, like, if you hit them first, they actually just don't have a keystone and you do. Which is pretty mm -hmm. crazy. How overtuned the runes are now. Like, literally half the AD carries are only viable because of lethal tempo. So, I mean, it, they're giving up a lot to... And the gold, I feel like the gold part of first strike is so whatever most of the time. I've played, like, full... 30 40 minute games with Lucian with first strike and I'm getting I like, think I'm doing a shit ton or like Ezreal Nope, it's like a thousand gold by the end of the game. It's so whatever mm -hmm. Lethal tempo is not balanced Not at all. I think the range part is what makes it kind of bullshit. I think the attack speeds fine I don't know if I just like lethal as a Concept though, just the ramping attack speed into like. Yeah, you know, I have someone who uses it. Like, I have no issue with it. I mean, I use it, but well, 
I, I think half the reason why champs like Kai'Sa are like in the fucking gutter right now is because they feel so outclassed by like lethal tempo abusers. So it's like the rune that's the problem because like before lethal tempo, champs like Jinx, like they're pretty good, you know. But I like I would play like short range bullshit into them like Lucian and Kai'Sa, and it would feel somewhat decent. Uh huh. Now it just feels like you can't team fight. But I mean, they also buffed the fuck out of Jinx Q and shit. Like Jinx got Omega buffs. Twenty five range buff, yeah. Yeah, which was insane. Well, they, as had a to, base. they had to get people to play their favorite character from Arcane. I mean, true. They had no they choice in the matter. Legit Jinx and Vi when Arcane came out. And Jinx. People were going to be playing. And Singed. Uh, I don't know about Singed. And Silco. Oh shit. And Vander. Why is no one playing Silco? He was in that TFT set for like a minute. Really? What did he do? Uh, he like gave mana to people near him, I think. I, I didn't actually play that set, so I'm telling you about it. Oh, interesting. Oh. Wow, Blabber wow, just, just got all of his HP. Owned right there. Dude, playing Sivir against Wukong is like hard to spell shield his stuff, but you can actually kill him on his own clone, which feels pretty cool. Does it just infinitely bounce between him and the clone? It can only hit the same target twice on a bounce. So if you like oh. hit somebody once and it bounces a clone back to him, clone back to him, then that's the max. But it's still a lot of damage. Oh, Blabber is. Ooh. Yeah. He's, stop he's old. fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's spinning on him. Oh, we got two flashes. Okay. Wow, it feels like Hundred yeah. Thieves is super outscaled. Like, it, 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 I think a huge part of it has to do with the fact that they're just outranged. Like, they can't fight at all. Only really Abadaga can do anything in these team fights. But I don't think it's easy for Zero to just like solo carry like that. Are they outranged? It Who are they looks outranged like by? It. I mean, they have Yumi. They have Poke Yumi. They've got Azir. Well, Sivir just Sivir. is doing nothing. Like, straight yeah, up. I don't think Sivir's doing anything. That was weird, though. That was just like Blabber went in on Poppy and Aatrox and just kind of like fucked the both of them. Yeah. I don't know, man. Well, because Fudge and Jensen are like. Everybody on C9 is kind of just creating space and zoning. 100 Thieves backline, since it's just Abadaga versus the world, I guess with Yumi as well, but yeah, it's really yeah. hard. I don't know, is this artillery Yumi doing anything? Like, is this better than regular Yumi? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, she's first striking. I haven't really he seen her cue, first like, striking. chunking. I don't think yeah, regular I'm... Yumi would make a difference so far, if that's any consolation. It's like they're both just gonna oh. do the same that hurt. shit. No, it's just damn. Yeah. Does that mean that Yumi is maxing Q? Five points? Probably. Whoa. Q max Yumi? Oh, Q Master. Q -master. Oh. Q Master. Oh. Well, usually people are doing some E Master. Oh. Ooh, yikes. Is he finally gonna three items or not? Nah? He's sitting in base. I guess he's bought GA finally, but holy death shit! Stance. Never mind. Death stance and Fudge has a death cap. That's insane spike for Fudge. Or item cannon. Pretty thick. Does cannon have treasure hunter? He I could, not in know. fact, have it. Oh, uh, I think it's really hard to play control mages against stuff like this where there's a top laner who can just flash on you and like take you out of the fight. Because even if he doesn't kill you successfully, what he will do is chunk you to 1 HP and blow your flash, or just put you really out of position to do damage. Mm -hmm. Just Ooh, buying time. C9 hitting the Baron. Closer can do a little pickup here if he wants. Yeah. Man, just. I wonder if someday he's regretting his choice in runes and items. I, I I could see this being better for lane, like 1v1 against Kennen, but when you're up against just this. Like, this is such an AoE Wombo type team comp. Oh, oh God. Shit. 
They are hot oh. as fuck. Oh that. my god. That wasn't it, boy. No quick silver sash. Unless Sari oh god. kills everybody. Now then... trying to salvage it, and they're actually doing it. Oh. Holy shit. Blabber's Ooh. too cracked, man. Wait. Bud stalled him, but... Oh my god, Zerker can't hit. He's actually outranged. Oh, and his ult falls off. Almost Dude, how a nice did the cut. hell did they... That looks so desperate by Blabber, but it actually worked. God damn. It mostly worked because Closer tried to, like, challenge that 1v1 instead of just walking back to his team. Wait, it looked, looked like Closer good. was like, Rag? I'm gonna about to kill him, but it was the clone, and then he got fucking Yo, they should cap. just wait there. They should actually camp there. I oh. totally agree. That, I would have camped seemed... there. That's such a good spot that they had no idea about. But... That seems so weird, actually. Also, is C9 just going to get Cloud wait. Soul like this? Huh? This is so strange. That's they're just going like, to get Cloud it's, Soul. It's actually just Soul. Like, like, I guess they're technically still here. Just a little delayed. What yeah. the fuck? Oh my god, that's so huge. It's, it's dead. People just cannot... It severely underestimated how easy Baron was to do there. This shirt. Oh, oh shit. That would have been a hero 97 play. 97% win rate. This one's done. <laughs> yeah, it's done. Let's talk about game two, guys. How's game two looking? Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, Baron said. Or is it? it? Matter, Ooh, for who? Oh but for God. who? It actually doesn't matter. Oh, this Look looks... at how fast Unite is. Oh, oh my goodness. This is the most ridiculous bullshit that... It, it's like, actually went from being useless to being insane. Well, it's always had the, uh, the, the ulti ult. speed, right? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, that's like true. Like, you push ult and you get, like, 40% move speed, but... I think it's probably, like, further made broken by the fact <laughs> that there's so many hyper carries that can benefit from the move speed. It's like, before, like... You know, if you're playing Kaisa Nautilus and you have the Cloud Soul move speed, it doesn't feel that insane, but looks kind of crazy when everyone is playing juiced up carries. They also changed and amplified the effect of the actual dragon themselves, where before it was like yeah. kind of useless. True, true. Yeah, that's true. It was true. like 10% or like 10 ulti haste or something, just completely useless. Yeah. Damn, man, they were so caught out here. It just dies to the ZR. What the fuck? I, dude, that thing hits so hard. L look at Blabber going in here. Yeah, that didn't look good. That, it looks so suicidal. Oh, Closer gets his ult canceled by Wukong. Yeah. And then actually dies there. That is very surprising. I think Hunter Thieves can still win. 3% chance. A nice little 3%. This game is actually so fucking close, man. Has Renata looked good in any playoff games? Yeah. Yeah, totally. I think she's actually pretty strong. Like her ult is really strong in in river fights, and there's a lot of river fights. There's a lot of just ten man in in fucking drag, or ten man for Baron. Oh, dude, there are not a zillion game was kind of cracked. Yeah, that sure. combo was a yeah. bit nutty. Yeah. It really depends on how much dive the enemy team has, and I think she's really made a lot better when you outrange him because like she sucks at engaging. She's really good at counter engage. Mm -hmm. In this game, I think Closer and Someday have no choice. Like, they just have to fucking go in, throw their bodies in there. It's hard. We're getting uh, full builds for nearly everybody soon. Dude, 40 minutes. It's a gathering storm angle. Double was right, as always. Oh. Uh oh. I mean, when Some am I daddy? Not? He's dead as hell. Are they gonna get anything off of it though? Wait, what? Uh, I mean, there's still Krugs. They can get Krugs here. Wait, what was Sven's flash? Uh, Why'd he flash? I didn't even see that. That was an accident. I was busy ordering coffee. No, that was a fucking accident. I he, I think he just. Was he even trying to ignite? I don't know. I don't know, but I'll, uh, I Why swear to God, people's, people's fucking, like, fucking fingers are just totally broken in this playoffs. <laughs> there's <laughs> so much fat fingering of random shit. 
Oh my. Okay. Alright, guys. Hey. Good talk, good talk. We'll, we'll meet back here later. Maybe like in a minute and 18 seconds? Two, two troll flashes? Back to back? Alright. Uh, can we make it three? Can I get three? <laughs> Do I hear four fail flashes? Do oh, I hear no. five? Oh. Jensen, no. Do, do I hear FBI's build? Oh, do I hear God. FBI's build? Everyone, everyone, pay your camera to FBI's build. It's really disgusting. Oh, do I hear Jensen dying right before Elder spawns? Yes, I do. Oh. If they can stall for 10 seconds or so on Elder, then Jensen okay. can TP in. But. 100 Thieves needs literally to do one thing. There's a 10 second window where Elder is alive and Jensen is not going to be there. Actually, 15 seconds if you can count the TP channel. You force the flip on Elder in that 10 second window, or you can just open mid and go next fast. Like, there's can only... you kill Elder in 10 seconds? I, right. you have to try. You have Azir and Sivir. You just have to try. Like, the, there, there's no way they're gonna win when Jensen respawns and regroups with the team. There's no fucking I, chance. I don't, I mean, I think they 100% need to get control before this. It seems like they're being slow at getting the control. I don't know about actually rushing it though. That seems pretty fucking sus to me. Is there going to be a better chance, though, when he's alive? We'll see alive? it. They're actually in position. No, I I mean, there is a window. I mean, fighting is also amazing, right? Like, fighting a 4v5? Oh. oh. Fighting a 4v4? Four four. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, no, I mean, no, they took your advice. You're going to be fighting a 4v5 now when Jensen gets back. Since it's TPing oh, mid. It's just fucking Elder. 18.5k health on Elder? God damn, that thing's tanky. That's it. Only Wait, Sven 18, is in a Wait. horrible spot. Sven? Uh-oh. Huh? No quick silver sash again? Wow. Oh. No way. Wow, Blabber gets oh, wow. out. Wow, Blabber got out. Yeah, and Jensen's ending the game, by the way. Will he end it, though? How close will he get? Oh! Oh, yeah. Berserker oh. and fucking Abadagi just killed each other. Why is FBI Wait, that's walking insane. back? Uh, Jensen's not know. gonna end here. Yeah, he's or, not gonna end. What about closer? He's fucking low. I don't think he ends, does he? Oh! It's back in the oh, oh no! wow. He Wait, ends. he actually got it? What the fuck? He actually fuck? got it. Holy shit. That did not look like he'd get it. Yeah. FBI definitely should have recalled, but I think he, like, Wukong was still around, so I think he just couldn't safely do it without risking getting canceled. Holy shit. Dude, the way that game ended was so strange. Cause C9 is so advantaged there. Like it shouldn't come down to this one HP back door. Like that's not a that's not <laughs> appropriate risk to be taking with soul and like every advantage possible. But you know, it was a cool way to see it. Still fun to watch. I'm gonna pull back real quick. I, like was FBI not recalling like real i'm pretty sure he just recalls he clears this wave then he recalls maybe he's scared of wukong though but well, that's actually really smart i never thought about that like maybe wukong could have yeah that's a really good point it's a, it's a great point sneaky i didn't think about that either Dude, how do yeah, I mean, you, you, you can't that? recall your with Well, no, like Wukong 100% could be there and he should be there. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like it's fucking close, right? Like walking back to base is definitely slower. There's like a threshold of a uh, distance where yeah, I mean, recalling like, is always better. Yeah, it's, it's just if you're going to get canceled, it's not better. Yeah. Yeah. And he's expecting that Blabber is going to do the reasonable thing, which would be sit around, cancel recalls. Yeah. So he, he has to walk back. I, I can't believe that you missed that part, Medias. Ah, it just really totally slipped my like mind. That. Yeah. Sorry, maybe next time. Hold on, I gotta go help like my that. dog. She's been crazy. Okay. I'll be back. Hmm. It's actually so weird. Blabber's just on Raptors, battling them. Wow, Abadaga actually could have flashed the last auto, but it's pretty hard for him to do that. Shut 
You'd imagine Poppy had ult. Yeah. You just probably flash it, right? But there's a flash. No, is the if key he has ulti here. right here, it's. Oh yeah, yeah. Even just for your knockup, quick one. So, dude, did you see what happened? FBI meleeed him and got ulted. That was insane. If he if he doesn't get Oriana ulted there, he does he he gets to kill him before his next auto goes off. Does he? Yeah, he gets ulted. Well, like look at the auto though from Ori. Like it's kind of already sent before the yeah, next actually, auto maybe, would maybe, even maybe, go maybe. out. I think he would die. No, you're right. His auto would go no matter what. Yeah. I was just surprised that everyone got ulted here. I'm surprised he ended, dude. Like. No. Yeah. Yeah. He, I think I, it was a good decision. Like, good. like, yeah. like if the team fighting an elder. And he's just like, all right, I'm going to be mid. Like, I think that's a good decision because the elder's always going to be a stall fight and it's a flip, but like you can guarantee and make the enemy feel so pressured by pushing mid here. It's just yeah. that Ori's not a crazy base killer. Like, she's yeah, okay, she's right? Not. It ended up working out and like, I, you obviously cannot calculate everything. I think, I think it was a good decision by Jensen. It's just... If I was C9, I'd be like a little bit uneasy about the way that game ended, right? Because if Jensen dies yeah. there and, and, and they get they get like essentially aced, the only person being alive would be Blabber and the enemy team gets Elder, like now you turn like a 90% chance of winning the game to a pretty fucked up game state. Obviously, open Nexus is a pretty big advantage for you, but like the enemy team could literally just end the game on you with Elder. Um, so, yeah. It's, it's a bit scary. I mean, this whole fucking game was like, not like nobody was secure at all. Like it, it was not winning for either side. <laughs> like even though C9 yeah. got the soul too, it's just like they're not really just guaranteed to win here. Yeah, no, it was, it was definitely really back and forth overall. Yeah. Wait, did FBI not crit? Wait, let me see. I'm checking it again. Oh, dude, wait, he actually kind of canceled an auto. Oh, wait, he, dude, he didn't crit on the third auto. Wait, oh, dude, oh, yeah, he does have a weird build, doesn't he? He only has 60% crit. Did he survive because of the tank stats? Let me check. I've gone back so many times right now. If I there you Q? I think GA is fine, right? No, he really didn't take much damage. I think you go one of one of those defensive options. I don't think you go both. Like if you go GA and Maw, it's just like yeah, you're kind of tanky, but like you're also playing Sivir. Like you kind of want to kill kill him. Oh shit, my fucking mic was muted. Welcome back. What the fuck? Hello. I was All about right, to say, you, you sit on the GA until it's popped, and then you sell it. And I'd rather have Mrixim than Ma, because even though Ma is slightly better defensively, Mrixim's still good with the QSS. Dude. But it also gives you 20 crit. Like, I you, think... You know, Blabber lived because he didn't crit either. Yeah, I literally, I literally said that while I was muted. I'm an okay. Idiot. Like, the game <laughs> oh would look really different God. if you did way more damage. Oh my god, the troll build. Yeah, it's a fucking troll build. Um, I think building defensively feels good when like it enables you to do something different. Like back yeah, in like the day, like em. season five, you know, like I remember I was I was like a huge BT user. Like I just built it on every champ because I thought it was like OP. And the reason why it's so OP is because like you it's you're building defensively, quote unquote. But like it allows you to play really differently. But like I feel like for AD carry right now, it doesn't let you play any differently to have a defensive item than if you had just built blast cannon. Like I think you just will survive 0.5 seconds longer. And maybe the only one that actually does feel different is actually uh, GA because yeah. then you can like trade your life. But they can't just yeah. dive you and you're just eliminated. Blabber dies here if he has a Lord Doms or literally any items, but what he has and like. I don't know what the heck the game looked like afterwards, right? Maybe at that point, FBI just immediately bases. Yeah, he can just recall. Yeah. Um, but like, 
there's just so many like little little actions that you take because you have more damage than your opponent like you can just walk up to their 80 carry for example and just like two shot them but if you have these items maybe you can't it's a really big difference <laughs> the charts he actually did no damage you mean she's doing more i mean okay yumi's poking but yumi's broken though yeah or no she's poking <clears throat> Yeah, like she's it's, poking it's and she's build, totally yeah. broken at doing damage. Like, yeah, getting out damaged by Yumi is actually just, I don't know. Like, it, it could be really, I think like Berserker could have gotten Yumi attached from and gotten out damage too. First pick, Callista, hold up. Wait a second. Hold up. Can you actually do that? Why doesn't EG do this? Give Callista so you take Renata, so you can't do Callista Renata. Then what do you pick on AD? I think you can go Aphelios. Oh! I think C9's balling is winning pretty hard, 2v2. We'll see though. Close is pretty good playing around bot. Aphelios, Aphelios uh, Renata is one of the fucking scariest ballings to play against. So much skill pressure. So much poke. Here's actually a question I, I don't understand either. Why did no one play Gwen against Orin up until this point? Gwen is so broken in team fights. That is actually a good question. Did she get nerfed more? She's the same shit as always, I feel like. I, it's like I forgot this champ even existed because <laughs> everyone's trying to play dumb shit like Camille. It's yeah, like Gwen is, Nibia. Gwen is like what Camille wants to be, like this like full damage building bruiser that's like really slippery but also can just like one shot a backline champ if they misplay but like obviously people play come because they feel like her setup is better and she can like slam dunk somebody into a bad spot what actually happens is camille goes in ults somebody and then instantly dies 100 zero um because there's so much damage in the game but fucking when gwen touches you you actually just fall over that champ is not balanced gwen's ult is just like the OP part of her yeah. and being untargetable. And another another part of it actually that's really frustrating for Orn is like she is so much more of a drain tank than the other shit I've seen. Like what Impact played Jax. I think somebody tried to play Camille into Orn, I forget who. But it's like Yeah, like in this damage race, Orn hits you for five hundred damage and Gwen leeches back like three fifty. It's so hard to kill her. It could be due to the fact that like a lot of people are blinding Aatrox. Maybe a reason for that is Gwen doesn't do well in Aatrox. That makes sense. That I don't sounds know if like that's the case, bad. but yeah, it doesn't seem great for Gwen. What about the Zendivia though? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't Anivia's... see what makes her look decent here. Well, Anivia's really good against whatever. Callista specifically. How so? Just can't auto attack against Anivia. So much zoning. Hmm. Do I think she's good against uh, any other of the champs? Not really, no. But, uh, you know, Callista, nice. Very good, you know, zone control against Callista. Maybe we'll pair really well with Berserker to fucking hard carry the game. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like Anivia's mm -hmm. kind of below average overall. I think if you have some kind of wall synergy on your team, like, I don't know, Zeri, Poppy... She's a little bit better, but they don't really have How any about of that. Orin? So. Boom. Explosion. Orn is straight Zeri. 1v5 in. Hiya, bitch! And then the Nivea, I, the Nivea makes the wall for him. Uh-huh. I don't think Orn breaking Anivia's wall is actually a good thing for Anivia. <laughs> dude, that's what you think. You're not creative like me. I, mean, I guess he can stun off of it. Dude, I actually think... It. Here's another crazy combo. Orn's Q with his E. You could break it and then make an explosion. Oh, my that stuns God. People. Wow. That would be crazy. Uh huh. Anivia coming through in mid lane alongside the changes in bot. Yeah, we, we changed our bans, um, mostly just responding um, to the first picks that they were going for. They're just banning for, for their first picks here, so we just responded um, and then went down the draft just with the, the next layer of cryos. Um, we're playing uh, Callista, Aphelios here with just, just, just normal trade. Um, but they, uh, they picked in a way that activated Anivia.
Um, so, uh, oh. Waldo would like speedrunning in an interview. Uh, the, the condition is better for us Dude, I changed my mind. I uh, I think Adderall is pretty popular on certain teams. I'm getting like anxious listening to him talk. I think it really just depends, right? Like, I feel like there's like a gun to his head of like fucking telling him what to say, and just like he's on a timer as well. I don't know. He do be zooming. <laughs> no, dude, actually, what you said about, like, getting anxious just listening to him, it, like, it, it, it's like it's, he's about to, he's about to have a breakdown on fucking camera any second now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They just picked it away, that activated enemy, and, and, oh my god, I'm so alone. I'm just kidding. Nah, uh, this is uh, really I, Max I, I, I like it's Max Wall, good. though. He just sounds like there's a gun pointing on him is all. Yeah, I mean, I like him. I'm just gonna throw out this horrific insult to him, attacking his character, <laughs> his mannerisms. I give him medios. Uh, yep, that I'm is exactly what I did. You're I'm right, just gonna point out me. that I was just following the herd. Like, medios is the one that started this crusade of hate against Wax. I'm Waldo. Wow. like, out of all of us, I'm usually the one who's just hating on people. That's true. Double if yep. sometimes reluctantly will join in, but it's really yeah. all medios. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dude, stop being mean. That emote is absolutely perfect for the situation. Medios, you need to calm down right now. Stop being mean, dude. Stop being mean. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting chills. Oh? Hold up. Someday barely survived that. Uh-oh. It's always a bad idea to dive Renata. I mean, they got Cliss all. This seems awful. This seems so true. Are they trying to wait out the Renata's W? Oh okay, they God. died with Callista all. You were right. What the fuck? Was waiting it out the right play there? Like, don't you just kill him? Or no, no, were they no, just no. not they able to? They didn't try to wait it out. FBI snapped his spears too fast. Oh. Um, waiting it out doesn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it lasts a fucking long time, right? Five seconds. Same as Zillion ult. But it's also like the opposite of Zillion, where like, if you kill them, you're kind of fucking punished against Zillion. But like, you're not punished against Renata. Like, they're in the same state as if they were alive. Except they you're actually die. You're only punished if if you die right afterwards. Yeah. So the, the only condition you'd want to wait it out is if like, you're about to die. But you're like, all right, just let this guy die. But there. Another heist. Oh, FBI is so cocky with this movement right there. What the fuck? Oh. Who is just dead. Like, FBI's cocky movement baited Huhi to think that that was safe, but, like, there's no way that FBI should have walked that way to begin with because he could just get, have gotten a Nivea walled and died. Uh, yeah. But it ends up killing Huhi. It makes Huhi look like a dumbass, but that was a group mm -hmm. effort. How did Berserker end up there instead of just doing Aphilia things to the tower? Flash stun. Okay. I, I think I understand why that went the way that it did. They probably could have made this dive work. It would have been really sketchy regardless, but I think who he went way too fast. Closer obviously wasn't ready. He used his auto on Renata. And I think What's more important there is that FBI was just like not in range to auto off the stuns. Mm -hmm. So they got really little damage off on the CC while taking max damage from the turret. Yeah. I think Berserker played it pretty well. Yeah. Okay. Actually, though, one thing that I, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing is I'm. I'm pretty sure that Aphelios is like one of the worst AD carries at playing against Gwen. It's just is totally utterly miserable. You can't fucking hit her with anything. And by the time you're auto attacking her, even if you have red white gun, uh, you're totally one shot. So. Oh. Never mind. Someday's not going to carry this game. What am I saying? I'm an idiot. Like Wait, never mind. Yes, he is. He's the best. Is Someday is literally the greatest player die. in the whole world. Wait. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, now oh, Blabber's fucked. Blabber's oh fucked. Oh my god. Tease. 
Run, Bobber! Oh. Wow, Ooh, that yeah. barely, barely, that was barely a nice hit. W. Holy fuck. It's a th the fact that Blabber doesn't have any boots. He doesn't even buy a crit boot yet. True. Sometimes free boots on jungle feels so fucking bad. When you just can't get it till 12 minutes or whatever. Yeah, because you couldn't get a successful gank off. So, that's just jungle diff, as usual. Closer with 100% kill participation and blab with zero. Curious. Oh, wow. That's just some great stats with one kill in the game. <laughs> I think one the stats don't the lie. Huh. Yes, for junglers. <laughs> for junglers? Oh, for that's a good point. junglers. Yep. You know what? Kills in um, the game for junglers, a commonly used uh, metric. Uh, I'm telling you guys. When Closer 100% KP and Wukong 0%. If you want to tilt me, if you want to tilt sneaky, you have to go up to him and start talking to him about math. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they gotta talk to me about clocks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what about clocks? <clears throat> Wait. Are you a non-believer in clocks as well? No, fucking. So if you play WoW and you play Final Fantasy, oh. Whoa! He's got Wait. the egg. He has egg. Then I'm gonna kill him. Holy shit! Does Jensen have Merc Treads? Why was that a move ult so short? Or wait, is he running Legend Tenacity? Dude, don't be fooled. That play by who he was also FBI's fault. Uh, I don't want to explain how. If you don't know, then... Oh, he has you Mercs. Know, you know. Holy shit. That's smart. I was wondering, like, when I saw him with no cleanse, I was thinking, like, isn't he just fucked by a Mumu, like, every single fight? But... Hold up. I'm gonna see where... I'm lolly sporting his runes. That's if he has Legend, weird. Tenacity, and Mercs, that might actually be kind of... Big brain. What happens if you have egg available and you get Renata W'd and you die? Do you you don't get egged, right? You get Renata and you're you're back and then you get egged. Wait a sec. Closer didn't wait. Abadage missed. Did you see that? Wait, no nope. shot. That just happened. Abadage missed his W on a stun target. Oh, like actually, he completely grieved that. Didn't quite catch it. I was thinking no, about egg. No, dude. No, dude. Abadage had had flash, and he could have totally one shot a Nivy off of that stun. I, I mean, I feel like he was caught off guard by how short it was, because I definitely was. I'm full. Okay, I can see that, but he missed it regardless of how short the stun was. Like even if Nivy, would, and if he would have to literally run forward for that W to hit. Hmm. I, I didn't actually see it. It was hard to see because like there's a whole bunch of stupid animations happening at the same time, but on the replay it was like, I was like, how do they not kill even though it was a shorter stun? But yeah, it uh. Oh, hello, Berserker. Oh. That is a pretty fucking. Biz is there no like raid markers or something? Like, why do they do it that way? Who came up with this scuffed ass format? It's a carryover from Korea. Like, people just do it because people in Korea were doing it. Mm. There's no ground markers, though. No. That do be making sense. Does the, does the, like, the super Asian fantasy... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, oh closer is just oh, dead. Holy shit. How about I get the three, oh. man? That was pretty bad. Oh, someday. Oh, someday. Oh, oh when ulti. Wait, wait, where's oh, the Gwen ult? She's someday. not ulting. Oh, there it is. Oh, 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 oh. Egg. Egg. Oh, my God. He's egged. Oh. Oh, 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 in bottom <laughs> river, there was. <laughs> Isn't that just an X3 Holy... plus two? <laughs> Holy shit, the way that FBI's old. <laughs> What's your guys' game time? I think I'm a little behind. 21, 22, 22 23, 24, <laughs> 25. Okay, I think we're good. Holy shit, dude, Fudge is going crazy. But they might Can actually anyone trap actually him. say that Gwen is not OP champ? Did she, she actually engaged that turbo. fight, right? She yeah. just she just walked in 1v5. I'm, no no exaggeration. Walked in 1v5 
and and was like the last person out of that fight. It's just so stupid. I I feel like Yumi has been really stealing the spotlight. I think like Enchanters, like Zer like with Zarya and Silver, been stealing the spotlight. But like for the longest time, my most hated champ to play against has always been Gwen. Yeah, uh, you're saying that like some champs specifically and AD carry aren't good against Gwen, but I was thinking like I think no champ on AD carry is actually good. It's just whoever can not die to her. Because you can basically Bila, yeah. never hit her. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I think Zeri's good against Gwen, for example, because, like, you don't get run down like this. Yeah. Like, yeah. look at how much look at how much Berserker... He took damage while dealing absolutely none. Like, he just can't hit yeah. into it. And then, that was cool. That Omumu got... Damn. FBI got really fucked Dude, over here by these... He actually fucking dies? Yeah. He just oh, walks yeah, he gets this. shot with a Q, yeah. Wait, that... Oh, he gets crit! God damn. Holy shit, the that crit. That did not look like he was in danger less. whatsoever. He might have actually had 20. I, did he have Collector there? Definitely not. I don't think he had crit look either. Oh! <laughs> if he won that, I actually wouldn't have been that surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's not at this point that I think she's really bullshit to play against. It's the point where she is like close to level 18, so she's got a lot of points in W, and she has Zonia's. Then I find it like absolutely unbelievable because like she goes in with W, she's untargetable. Then she does a fuck ton of damage, and while her CDs are coming back up, she's Zonia's. And then when she comes back up, it's the same shit as Lad. Her W is basically almost back up again, and she has a full new rotation of abilities. Like, then I just find it like so obnoxious because. The window for me to hit her is really just whenever my teammates can CC her. What do you think about this Gwyn build? He's going Shadow Flame second. I don't know if I've seen this. Yeah, that's Seems actually a little, sus. That's something a little weird, but usually what you see is like you see the Gwens go Zonia second, so they can go Death Cap third. That's like the max damage three items. Or even sometimes you'll see people just go like straight up. Uh, what's it called? Zonia's into Void as well. Shadow Flame's like. Not the most I mean, the, common one. You see, like, Cosmic, you see Nashers. Yeah, yeah. Nashers a lot less than before, but probably still usable. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't think it's horrible. Her ult's fucking crazy. Yeah. I, I, I do think, though, that Ability Haste is one of those stats that's, like, it's so OP. So not having it from a Cosmic or from a Zonius can be... Kind of sad. True. Yeah, I've never really understood the place of like Archangels with it's like, do you ever think about the healing that it gives? It's so weird. I think it's like, pretty relevant. I think I think Archangels is super under fucking rated on uh, on Seraphine. Like people do a Rylai second and they just like sit on the tier. I, I really I really feel like Archangels is so good sometimes. Are they really just sitting here denying minions? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Why not? What season is this? I don't I just haven't seen someone do that shit in a while. <laughs> I mean if there's literally nothing happening, it's not the worst. But like I, I guess Tilly has it too. I, I'm just wondering how much value you should put into it. Cause obviously you buy tier in Archangels if your champ has mana problems and you want to remove those, but. Yeah, it, it it does have a weird spot where it's, I don't feel like it's the same role it has before where it's like just for heavy casters. I, I think like the sustain component of it, like it is a slightly defensive item now. It's, I think if your champ has high mana cost, you actually get like a pretty decent amount of healing from it. It mm. feels just like a, mm. It feels like a slightly worse version of Cosmic that gives mana instead of the move speed and extra AP. Because like, it gives a shit ton of haste. The Seraphs, when it upgrades, it turns your percentage of your mana, I think, into haste. Yeah. So it ends up being like a ridiculous amount of haste on two items. Hmm. I think it if you need so sustain as a mage, it's, it's like actually one of your best options. Like, uh... HP, you mean? Yeah, HP is sustained. If they have uh -huh. random poke shit they can hit you with and just push you out, I think it's it's actually pretty good in that situation. 
And if it's just look at look at what uh, look at what C9's doing. It's yeah, take they're so having their long. they're having their TP solo it, but Anivia is actually gonna go oom, um, right? She's not she's gonna TP into this fight and she's not gonna have much mana at least. Maybe, yeah. Look oh, at who he oh, oh four man ulti. That fucking Amumu ult. I guess this is soul, so it is kind of important that it dies. Like for hundred thieves. Yeah. Can, can I think it's not a bad play by kill? C9 as long as they can get out here. Holy shit he can. Oh. But he's dead. Yo, oh died. nice Sonya's! Can he live this? Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow, oh he that ran. went real wide. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter, but that was awkward. Nice flash. Yo. So he had some pretty pretty bad moments so far in this game, but that one was pretty nice and didn't amount to much until like way later. Like he got a four man and it really didn't look like anyone was gonna die. But I think the result was really good. The very end. Yeah, I, I think using his ult to set up Talia W or like a fat Gwen ult is probably best. Look at this. Ooh. Look at this. They're just oh, gonna kill him. Sven. What I would do here if I was Hunter Thieves is do a reset and then farm them again. It's just like you you want to start the engine again as fast as possible. Just do a full reset. Everyone back to full HP. Push in every lane. Set up the wards, and keep farming them. Like Baron's not the ultimate goal. What like well, obviously Baron would be a nice like bonus to them, but like getting the setup and having them face check you with no flashes that should be like the win condition from now on. Yeah, I think they could. I. I do wonder though if that situation was more to do with the fact that C9 was heavily committing for the dragon, right? So Hunter Thieves was just hitting Baron as a way to like try to pull them away from the dragon setup. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't I think, think C9, C9 actually hedged... handled it pretty well. They did. They did. They hedged their bets, right? Like having Anivia solo the drag means even if they lose this fight, they don't lose the game on soul. So I really like what C9 did. Oh, oh wait, okay, dude, so... did you see Poppy there? He went wow. for a flash stun and he flashed into the Renata ult and just got instantly charmed. Fudge, Fudge whipped his ulti the same way that Solo did. Did you guys see that too? No. He did it He did it like up against the wall. So his ulti didn't make him... His ulti dash got cancelled because it got clipped on the wall. Hmm. That's unlucky, man. Funny ass of failure assault. It was, it was. <laughs> Oh, then oh, he has flash. Okay, he is totally fine. I'm surprised he didn't turn that harder. Oh, this is a bad engage by by C9. Bad engage. Bad engage. Now it's now it's Hunter Thieves' turn. Oh, they got to play around the bird, man. They they also can play around Talia ulti with enemy team having very few ults. Maybe Fudge can break the wall open right away. It, hmm. This is awkward for C9. They don't have a single flash on their team anymore. Fudge can just break it if he wants. He doesn't even care though. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. That was that was a fucking his own Anivius W. <laughs> dude, dude, I was looking at that too. I was like, was that Talil? It looks so weird. <laughs> this is such a bad engage. You can't win the fight engaging on Orn. Now they have to back off because they had to block list ulti. It's another mistake by Huhi. Anivia cannot cancel her own W, right? Like it has to last the full duration when she makes it. Yeah, she can't cancel it. That, that always feels so weird. Like, Jarvan can cancel his ult. Talia can cancel her ult. But, like, Trundle and Nivea. They're just fucked. They can't cancel the ult? Like, so actually, Orn can't, can't cancel, cancel his own Q. <clears throat> right. I think I'm more talking about the terrain part more than the ultimate part. Try to keep up. <laughs> I Am I wrong? Yeah. I'm yeah, you're wrong. wrong. I'm not wrong, actually. You are incorrect. <clears throat> As always. You said Trundle can't cancel his ult. <laughs> his terrain. <laughs> Didn't his say that. His terrain. Oh. Blabber's kind of going hard in the paint here. Ah, he's dead. And he's gone. We salute your service, Huhi. 30 seconds on drag. I think 100 Thieves should have the first setup. We'll see, though. Blabber's not that important to the setup. I think sometimes when people die, it's like, are they actually important to, like, sit around in bushes with you? If the answer is no, you can just sit there first. Like, I feel like right here, maybe... Jensen's just... No, it's too hard now. Never mind. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't idea. know about that. They, Even if you don't need Wukong in the bush with you, they'll still just walk in and 5v4 your ass. Well, it was... It was... 4v4. I guess right now it's technically 5v4 
for 100 Thieves. It's gonna, it's gonna even up in like five seconds. Oh, I mean, C9 please. needs to be really careful. They have two carries without flash or real mobility, so if they're ever overextended, yeah, 100 Thieves is in the worst all... spot right now. 100 Thieves is in a really bad spot. Oh. Really bad spot for, oh, they're just gonna engage oh. on over the wall. Oh, Blabber's engage got stuffed oh for your own. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my okay, God. it's over. It's over. It's over. It's done. When, it's done. When, 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 so balanced. Holy shit. What it's actually the as well. fuck? AoE, dude? Dude, oh, Abadaga hit a three-man W. Is that what it was? Is that the beginning of it? Yeah. He hit a, he hit a three-man. He hit a fat one. And then Gwen just fucking cleaned up afterwards. Jesus. Dude, someone check these guys' PC. 100 Thieves solo lanes are just... piss smurfing. I, I think Atalia has been kind of underrepresented in playoffs so far. This champ's kind of busted. Yeah, she seems pretty strong. But I mean, Abadog is actually... He's playing her well. Like, she, She's hard to play. Yeah. The drag takes so long to kill. Actually insane. I don't mind it. FBI is glitching into the wall are pretty funny, to be honest. <laughs> See that? It's like fucking spazzing into the wall. Mm. <laughs> Max damage. But like, Love to see this again. I thought I thought Hundred Thieves was gonna get. Dude, fucked. it's so hard to funnel into that choke. Yeah, look at, they're just okay. here comes here comes Abadagus W. Waiting. Oh, oh God! That is it's still and then, and then this, this damage that happened afterwards oh. was fucking insane. Uh, wait, Fudge couldn't get his ult off again. I think this one was because he was grounded, but still. Yeah, yeah, that's tough. Ugh. You know, that a, a lot just... of that honestly has to do with the fact that it's about target selection. And for C9, they need to focus Abadage and oh. not FBI. What? He just died. How the hell did he just die? He's a fucking jungler, man. He has like zero gold. He got headshot. Oh, he's just a jungler. That's how he died. My bad. <laughs> Yeah, just, just, just jungle, just fall look over. His, look at just his, jungle he's, things. He's just there a was jungler. a light breeze, I think. Only Inspired gets to live those, because he's like, also four items, somehow. Actually, oh. five men over the wall, dude. <laughs> dude, wow, he really dies there. Holy. Jeez, I did not expect that to kill. That's lethal. Perfect it's lethal. Collector he, time. he doesn't really have any armor, just the like 20, 25, whatever you get from Cum Tank. Yeah. Cum Tank? Uh huh? How does C9 win from here? Do they have Grievous? They don't have a single Grievous against Ocean Soul. I think. When I think about Grievous from now on, I always try to think of it through the perspective of like how easy it is it to apply the actual one that matters. So like it starts at 25% and there's like a condition that needs to be met for the 40%. For a Thorn Mill, it's that you need to immobilize somebody. For uh, like Morella Nomicon, it's like they need to be below a certain amount of HP. For Mortal Reminder, it's like you need to hit him three times. And the most OP one is actually the support Two one down. where all you need to do is buff somebody and their next attack is going to apply the 40%. It's like the uh -huh. easiest condition to meet, right? Because you're always buffing people on accident anyways. And you're hey, usually what? buffing your entire team. Actually, What with, like, item does life. Ven have? The one that's on cooldown. Nice is that spell. a Knight's Vow? Yeah. Knight's Vow. Yup. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that Orin W on the Talia W is actually nuts. What's the winner rate on uh, Ocean Soul? We know Cloud's 97. Can someone run the numbers on Ocean Soul? 69, I've heard. At least 69. Yeah. At least Which means C9 only has a 41% chance to win this game. Dude. With an Elder Flip. Wait. 41? Yeah, that's true. That's crazy. Go from a 3% to a 41 off just a type of soul. Nice game, Riot. God damn, this is so imbalanced. Checks out. Sinky, do you finally understand that if the monkeys were there for an infinite amount of time that they would actually type out Shakespeare? <clears throat> nope, monkeys are wrong. <laughs> monkeys are fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> when you finally get it, I think you'll reach Nirvana. Like, you will actually become the smartest person in the world. Oh, I'm gonna take this to my grave. What if he's the only one right? <laughs> yep. What if one day our fucking creator descends from the sky and he's like, yeah, monkeys will never fucking type Shakespeare. They're hard-coded to not do that. <laughs> <laughs> I believe oh, it. No. Oh, no. Server just getting ran down and went. Ah, oh. uh, GG. It's <laughs> over. Yep, good night, Cloud9. Dude, if our creator ever descends from the heavens and it's like open to answering questions, I'm for sure gonna ask him like, I'm gonna pull him aside private and be like, yo, so what's up with the sneaky? <laughs> why, why is he like that? <laughs> How can this guy yeah, be that's so actually my number smart? one question. How can, can he understand? program that shit or like, what's going on? <laughs> How can sneaky see past the dumbassery? He's okay. an early prototype. Of we didn't fully get all the kinks monkeys. out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is actually an amazing question. Why is the male prostate a pleasure center and located in the anus? True. We need answers. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. It's for the lads. What can we say? Holy well, shit. at least we got ourselves a series, boys. Well, that we game got ourselves was, a series. Game one was pretty good. Not this good. game was fucking insane too. Yeah. It, maybe we should. Here's Berserker doing literally nothing in this dive, playing it based so on the bad. <laughs> dude, holy, the mechanical outplays, dude. Did you see him press his summoners? Whoa! And then watch him right click, dude. He's crazy. The 80 carry envy is so fucking Whoa! intense right now. I bet only Berserker could do that. Push his summoners. The Nikki's greatest trying. 80 carry C9 has so ever hard seen. Right now to be like, dude, I would have done that, but like way better, man. <laughs> didn't say that. Just didn't say. Tried Wait, to say he didn't do anything. He just lived. Who the clone? The, that was the just a clone over the wall. terrible 100 Thieves dive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. It was it was really bad. It's really hard to dive Renata. I understand why they did it though, because Kalissa and Amumu have like one win condition in lane. Yeah. It's two dive. Holy shit, there's so many walls. Yeah, I, I really, really dislike watching Gwen go unpicked. It's like I, I forgot that champ existed and now I'm it's just I'm gonna be the top of my mind again. It's like why don't they just play Gwen against Scion and Orn, blind pick. Yeah, I think it'd probably be good. I wonder, that could also have to do with like the Renekton picks. But I don't know, like we, we've seen Renekton versus Gwen before and usually Gwen just hardcore outscales Renekton like immediately. But maybe just with yeah. the nerfs to Gwen, it's not the case anymore, I don't know. Well, I, I really You're like... right, like this champ looks fucking broken every time she's played. I really like the way, I don't know if it was intentional, but they have so much grounding for Orn that he can never really use his skills. Like, right there he got grounded by Talia's E, right? But they also have Poppy to ground him, and then Gwen can immune his shit, so... It felt like Orn was just such a non-factor this game, where usually he's like a team fighting god. I don't think Talia E grounds them, yeah. actually. Kind of, kind of interesting way to refer to grounding, because grounding is a literal... Like, oh, wait, right there, right there, was it Poppy's W that stopped his ulti? I'm gonna go back and look then. Yeah, it was, it was Poppy's W. Oh shit, it mm -hmm. looked like it was a rock. Let's see. No, you're right. It was, it was, it was Poppy's W. Yeah, it's I just, just couldn't see it in the like, cluster buck. Grounding is just like you can't press flash. Or yeah, dash, yeah, right after. Well, like stepping on a Cassio W. How many grounding effects are there? There's Poppy W, and there's Cassio W. They're singed W. Singed. Is that all? Is that all of them? I think so. Okay. It's a pretty unique property. That's very strong. Mhm. Mm C 9s bot lane played okay. I mean, they made a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes. And sometimes I feel like when when I watch FBI, he like he does a lot of stuff that's super punishable, but he just like gets away with it. Like this game, he took some like. Pretty weird positionings. 
that could have gotten punished, but then my team just showed some respect, like didn't catch him on it. But I don't know. Berserker seems to be really informed though for playoffs. Oh, about this draft. Oh, Zeri Lulu into Lucian Nami. Is that tough? Yeah. It's pretty unplayable, but. But yet just, they picked into it. They just, they saw the Lucian knowing the Nami's coming and they still hit the Zeri. Yeah, it's just the scaling factor. Like. It's not so Nine much of taken. caring that it's unplayable, it's just the fact that Zeri kind of gets away with not really caring about getting fucked early. Hmm. I don't know whose draft I prefer here. Both yeah. seem pretty decent. 100 Thieves doesn't have a real front line. That's usually notable. I think I'd rather be C9. Seems like they have an easier, easier condition to play to. Their side lane <laughs> looks a little bit better. Hmm. Really? These comps look pretty fucking even. Yeah, I mean, they, I don't think it's a huge advantage. I just think, like, when it comes to team fighting, having a frontliner, like, you know, I mean, I guess Poppy's not super tanky, but, like, can kind of walk up. You don't and think just, Aatrox is similar? And that he's aspect? definitely not a frontliner. But, I mean... You, you see Aatrox is flanking. Back. Yeah, yeah, but, like, he can do the flank thing and create a lot of space while not necessarily taking damage, but making the fight really awkward. Welcome back. Hello, yeah, I mean, the, the, the main benefit of having a frontliner is just someone who can like walk into their control and like actually afford to get jumped on by the enemy team yeah which in itself makes a lot of space for your team but like the the way they fight i don't know these look so fucking close like my guess is if somehow lucian nami doesn't snowball then c9 will have a really good time but yeah, I mean, I, I like, think C9 side laning is just better though later in the game, isn't it? As well, like, I feel like Nar and LeBlanc both do better than Re, Aatrox, and side lanes. Maybe not by a huge I, margin or anything. Yeah, I mean, like, Re's not really a side laner, and like, is Aatrox really gonna die to LeBlanc? Like, not really, uh, not, unless he's not caught. die, but just maybe not have Pryo. Yeah. Not as safe. Double right. if what's what's your take on the the Balin? Zeri, Lulu versus Lucian Nami? That's uh good. I would rather play Zeri Lulu. I think Lulu is a little bit broken. Just a wee bit. Zerker Zerker is he is wasting so many Q's. Just <laughs> whiffing. He's gonna go out of mana at this rate. Yeah, Dude. I think I think uh, Lucian in particular is is pretty bad against Lulu. Like if it was a different support like Yumi, it's it's different. But Lulu Lucian, not sorry, not Lulu. Nami Lucian got a lot worse over time. I think the surprise factor was definitely on their side of just like, whoa, I can die there. Um, I I kind of feel the same way about Draven, where it's like the champ gets worse when Ooh. people's game knowledge increases. Interesting flash from fudge. I think it was good though. Makes him win the trade, but kind of turned a fuck situation into a slightly advantage one. Like yeah, it, well, short short term, it's much better to do that flash. But I mean, then you're just down flash for a fucking while. I mean, now now it's all on someday. Can he can he flash this flash stun right here? Oh, he's not even gonna stay on mm -hmm. turret for this. Good movement by Blabber denies away from someday. Yeah. Ultimately, I think I think him recalling like that and, and denying himself XP could be could have been a little bit of a mistake, but you know. Why well, why do you um, think you don't think Lucian Nami is just by definition strong? Like you think it's just cheese the damage you're doing or something? I don't. I, don't I really just think, think that's the case. The, the game's real slow and being down 20 CS doesn't matter when you have a massive outscale. Like that trade isn't even that winning, and it's it's like one of Lucian Nami's best. Level three to two, by the way. And he got patched from it though. That's the thing. He's actually getting money. 
Yeah, I mean, you could say like, oh, Berserker used gar but, barrier and they had Guardian up, but it's like... <laughs> that's a lot people... of fucking shit to stop the damage. He literally uses Summoner. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it's really big. But like, people got better at playing against it, right? Like, people stopped going Exhaust. That's, that's number one. Exhaust in the beginning was like considered really good and even people were doing double Exhaust with Aphelios Lulu, but... I think when, with these champs, like, you just end up more smooth with with barrier. Uh, I think it's really good. On the flip side, I think Lucian is forced to go cleanse, just in case you have exhaust, but also because, like, he kind of needs cleanse half the time against Lulu. Well, the, okay, the, There's just, the like, thing so many I things said, that work against him. The thing I said about this is that, like, uh, Lucian Nami just wins. Like, they're going to win the 2v2, and then... Yep. But but the, the thing is, is... They're opting into just the scaling. Like Zeri Lulu obviously outscales Lucian Nami. Like it's not close, and they're just they're just saying like, okay, we're fine with losing early. It's whatever. Like we'll scale. Yeah, that, that's my opinion on it. I understand. I think it's easier to it's easy for the Zeri lane not to get shit on. Easier than the Lucian Nami side to snowball appropriately, where like it's worth it. But that's always like the battle, right? Like I think, I think that's always like the struggle between every matchup is like, can I get value out of this pick? Either like, can I be the scaling win condition for my team, or can I be the early game win condition for my team? And like, how badly am I getting outscaled actually? Because like for a long time, I feel like Lucian Dummy was like pretty solid scaling. I didn't really feel that much pressure of like, at a certain point, I'm fucking useless, but. Maybe it depends on the champs, because, like, when I play against stuff like Lulu and Poppy, I feel pretty fucking disgusted with my champ. Like, Lucian? It just is not fun. Yeah. I feel I feel pretty bad playing Lucian in this game. They're getting destroyed by this dragon. Hextech actually fucks you up. <laughs> I even got hmm. to a point, honestly, where I, when I was playing Jamie's Q, I was, like, testing playing Twitch against Lucian Nami, and it was, like... I feel like Lucian Nami is not really at all about Lucian, but it is more that Lucian is the best pairing yeah, he's with Nami. A Nami facilitator. <laughs> yes, Nami's doing all the work. Lucian is just the vehicle. So like, but he's like an in insane that... vehicle because he he gets vigilance yeah. from Nami's buffs and then insta procs electrocute. Yeah, dude. But in in this matchup, I would say because Lulu is almost as good. Hold that thought. Because Lulu is almost as good. Uh, oh, Ian. Holy shit. Okay. Dude, Spicy. what is Jensen CS? How is he up 25 farm on mid as fucking LeBlanc? Is he just know. going crazy right now? It's Jensen Blanc, man. That champ's hard as hell to farm on. But yeah, Wait, he is owning. both lane, mid and bot for 100 Thieves are just passively yeah. getting owned. Yeah. Lucian's just not a good champ. TLDR, I think he's not great. And for a while, Nami was like really oppressively good. So you saw it a lot more. Was Someone Nami said Jensen's LeBlanc has a 140% win rate. Holy shit. Damn. That's crazy. He wins 1.4 times every time he picks it. <laughs> Damn, I didn't I'm really surprised Hundred Thieves let him have that. For worlds like Riot actually <clears throat> doesn't want to see Zeri Yumi every game, so they they nerfed Zeri and Yumi again just in time, but I wonder if it's even enough. It's not. so comically strong that, like, it almost feels like their attempt at, like, nerfing it into being, like, pretty shitty, it, it, it like, won't even work. Because, like, it feels like sometimes the, the balancing team doesn't truly understand just how broken it is. Taking, like, 10% of Zeri's damage away, for example, is, like, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. Ooh. What are the nerfs on Terry? I haven't actually looked at it. They just took out her AD ratio on Q, so she does less damage. Hmm. And I think for Yumi, it was like, increase the CD on her heal by two seconds late game. Mm -hmm. Max rank. 
Yeah, it, it is weird. Like, I get Riot's philosophy of like, generally when they change champs, they don't want to like take away from their strengths. But at the same time, I don't know. It seems like they don't really care about counterplay. Like, if I was balancing Zeri, I would just, you know, maybe not infinite ulti could be good. That's that's what the Froxon guy he wrote a post about how it's really hard to balance and. Uh... Oh, uh, wow, Jensen's actually shitting on somebody here. He, dude, you do not take Jensen's blue and get away with it. He's saying, give me the fucking kill, bro. That's my blue. Yeah, legit. He actually started seeing fucking red when he saw somebody walking away with that. He was <laughs> getting emotional right there. But, I mean, it's the same thing with, like, Yumi's attach. And, like, I, I, I really don't like champs just having something with, like, no real counterplay as, like, their quote-unquote, like, identity or strength. Like, I think it's just kind of whack. Yeah. Gwyn W. Yeah. I feel like any immunity, like a Gwyn W type thing, sh shouldn't be instant, right? Like, you know, Tarek ult? Like, Tarek's ult has never been OP, except, like, in Master Yi Funnel, but that's, like, totally different, right? Because there's, like, a ramp to it. It, it kind of yeah. allows counterplay on both sides. Yeah. But the fact yeah. that Gwyn can just react W to things that are going to hit her is, uh, little unfair. True. That's funny, man. It just reminds me of when Samira came out and it was like the thought the thought of like, whoa, it's kinda like Vlad's W on a AD carry. And then I was thinking like, wait, but Vlad can't use abilities during his W and then I it then it, I was thinking about how Gwen can use all of her abilities when she's in her W. Like, for the longest time, Vlad was one of the most bullshit champs. Because, like, what the fuck? He just gets to pool? <laughs> yeah. And, like, go invulnerable and it scales down with, like, cooldown reduction and stuff. It's like, how about that? But, like, you can use your entire kit. Dude, the <laughs> game is... Remember when Teemo was the most annoying champion? That's funny, Or, like, yeah. Janna was just the most unfun enchanter. Like, she still <laughs> kind of is unfun, but, like, I don't know. By comparison, it's not even that bad anymore yeah yeah perfect no nah, teemo got ruined when they introduced like fucking sleeper trinkets oh yeah that, true. that's true yeah. and stuff like he just got ruined Ooh. i mean they, they did have like oh oracles. my god wow. jensen did not forget about this dude this game just looks so fucked. c9 is just running them over everywhere yeah, they're getting ran. And so something notable about the first two games is like, I think in this jungle matchup, Poppy has like a pretty big advantage early on Wukong. Not necessarily in the fact that like she shits on him because I'm pretty sure he beats her one on one, but like she just has so much more playmaking ability early. So like four laners, you kind of have to respect that, right? Like, for example, Blabbers play top lane, like forcing somebody to recall and lose a wave. Like that doesn't happen in the reverse side of the matchup. And so the fact that like C9 was getting through early game without really disadvantages, despite having you know the jungler that kind of comes online later, yeah, kind of just shows that like you know okay well this time they have the good the better early jungler and they're just shitting on every lane. Yeah. Oh. oh. This is FBI tough, man. Looks disgusted. Dude, I I, Jensen's doing something fucked up this game with his farm. Like, I don't know about that, man. 140 at 13 minutes is LeBlanc. He's, he's going Chovy mode. Legit. I think, mm -hmm. see, like, wild. LeBlanc is, like, a pretty decent champ and, and is one of his signatures as well. And I, I would love to see him continue to play this. I feel like 100 Thieves is kind of checkmated in draft off AD because... They probably don't want to play Zeri themselves. Really? Why because not? Berserker will, will just play Twitch and it's annoying. I don't think it's like a counter counter, but I think it's annoying. At least they haven't shown a willingness to do it three games in a row, right? So all hundred all C9 has been doing is they banned Seraphine. And they're kind of getting a, a better side of Oh. Well that thought. Jensen is so hard like owning. Oh, Okay, decent engage by closer here. Blabber's getting fucked. Oh, wow. goes down. Wow, Blabber went back in. Yeah, what oh, the fuck? Berserker's okay, well, hold up. Over. C9's actually kind of over. Berserker's about here. to go 
Omega. Wait. Wait huh? a second. Blabber and Fudge just killed themselves, by the way. Oh! Wow. Damn, nice fight by 100 Thieves there. C9 actually overextending. Holy shit. I am... I am actually very, very surprised at the result there. It looked like Berserker was about to kill everybody, but then on the other side, Abadaga and Someday made really good play together. Just watch how Blabber and Fudge die. Like, they, they both yeah. have every opportunity to get out, and they just play this fight like they can't lose it. I was watching yeah. Blabber there, and it was fucking confusing. He, like, was walking up with his alt channeled. Yeah. Oh, wait, I didn't even recognize that's how Closer used the first part of his ult, and then all of C9 sort of funneled in here. Yeah. Look, look, Blabber's out. And he says, hey guys. <laughs> Holy shit, FBI, what the fuck? What the crit? That was good? And then you know, watch Fudge, watch Fudge, his, his turn. That looked so illegal. Hey guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know Just keeps walking forward for no reason. Yeah. He he was trying to get Mega and the Nami bounce killed him. One thing I've noticed is so common with Korean top laners is... I mean, maybe I'm just only thinking about someday at impact, but they are so good at playing these fighters and just making space and not dying. That's the key. They, like anybody can just run at the enemy AD carry and make space while just dying. But they are really good at like calculating how to max out the time that they stay alive and keep the attention of the carries. It's mm -hmm. really fucking impressive. Teasing yeah. the carries. Yeah. Showing him a I mean, little, a little side boob, maybe a little, little thigh, little tease, but, but not all of it. Dude, little ankle, possibly an exposed ankle. Yeah. Yeah, get, get him. They're really trying to get their attention. Mm-hmm. Damn. Well, I'm. Th that was kind of the opportunity Hundred Thieves needed to like sort of get a foothold back in this game. Still down quite a bit. Y yeah, okay, I mean they're not, yeah. they're not in a good spot, but they're. I, yeah, because like, yeah. I mean, you don't see the gold in game though, right? Like it went from zero two to two and two. Jensen. Like hundred thieves is probably at least feeling more confident after Jensen's that. Jensen's in an amazing spot right now. He's probably gonna either one shot FBI or who he at the start of this fight. Like level thirteen, and he is farmed up the ass. Hundred thieves he has no have idea this great is coming. Vision on hundred thieves though, like oh, they don't have vision in that He's push. gonna die. No, oh. this is so sketchy. He should not reveal himself. No, hundred thieves. Who's his target? Here, Jensen. Who do you FBI. try to assassinate? I think Actually, you also could just too. try to do max damage. Just oh, like no! a, an RW. He showed himself. He showed himself. Wow, Blabber gets it. Ooh, he's okay. fucking dead. Nice kill on Nami. That means you, Lucian's useless. Lucian is oh, really he's useless fucking. Now, yeah. Oh, okay. Is Lucian Yumi a lane? Uh. It doesn't make Lucian strong. It's just like a holder for Yumi that doesn't die that easily. Hmm. Yeah. I think this is a game where Poppy could actually go like the super early Warmogs route. And it's just so hard for 100 Thieves to play at that point. Because like, yeah. 100 Thieves kind of has to go for these like Lucian, Nami, or like Ari chunks. And when you have Warmogs, you can afford to just walk up, get chunked, and then just, you know, heal up. Oh, well, Abadagi's about to face them. Oh. Oh, did that oh, actually hit? Oh, it hit. It did. Hoda. Wow. It's fine. They got his clone, though. 25 gold. <laughs> True. <laughs> what do they get off this? Let's see. Oh, Fudge is trolling. He has flash, but he, he might die anyways. Okay, he did a pretty fine. decent job dodging the Aatrox Qs. Yeah. That was weird. Like, Closer I swear to gets... God, oh! something just didn't push Qs. It took him so long. I think Closer's in fucking trouble here. Big trouble. Holy shit, oh. does he actually get out? Oh! Wow. Holy shit, FBI, FBI does it. Hold up. Wait a sec. Wait a sec, dude, they FBI need to get out of here. If, it, it, dude, 100 Thieves is actually in a good spot after this. Zeri is so ult reliant and she doesn't have it now. So if they take the fight right afterwards, like if they start Baron right here and it's just a straight 5 5 again, I think 100 Thieves can win. But they might 100 Thieves one. has one ult. Yeah, but, but one team needs ult more. I think it's 
Actually, oh, Wukong's just not here. Yeah, I think this is just Baron for C9. Ooh, that sucks. And the timing is so shit for 100 Thieves. They they, they don't even get to get drag like as a trade because it's not up yet. All right, this is looking just like they might C9. get it. It's close. C9 all the way. Yeah, maybe they can get it actually. A little slower than I expected out of base. They have a blue orb. They know 11? the timing. Oh wow! I mean, if C9 actually went over there, they wouldn't have just got it for free. Look, it's still not yeah. dead. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they, they don't. Poppy, they don't have the info though. Poppy yeah. can literally just walk. I think in he by can just himself. go down mid at that point. Yeah. But I mean, this is this is okay. I think C9 could play this more aggressively if they wanted to, but maybe they just want to do the safe option. I think you could have just ran down Whoa. mid and like fought if they walk into you. He's dead. Wow, Blabber just got fucked. That was not the safe option to walk that way. Does FBI have his uh, Lord Dumps completed yet? It's actually so important. I didn't does. see. No, he nope. doesn't. I feel like with this comp, they really needed to win lanes. The fact that they lost yeah. pretty much every lane puts Falling them in such an awkward win. spot. Yeah. It's actually crazy. Like, yeah. they don't have a lot of good options. Like, their team fighting and their splitting are both, like, kind of sus. They just have to rely on getting picks, which is hard. Oh, wow. Blabber has an amazing angle. Holy fuck. That both dodge players, and the charm? Such, such cocky movement. It felt like Abadaga was just totally playing with Wait. fire there. Don't, don't use this all, Blabber. Thank you. Not even sure why he started channeling that one, to be honest. The the poke from FBI is such a non-factor right now. He needs a little bit more gold. Or actually, he needs a lot more gold. Oh god, but that is pretty gross. We need a to... just channeling it in their face and canceling it. Fifteen second CD. I mean, I get, that's one of the cool trade-offs of Zeri. Like, she has this really long-range, low-cooldown poke, but in exchange for that, like, she doesn't really have good sustained damage or, like, ways to deal with people getting on her. That's true. She's pretty but she can't really kite or, like, like do any sustained damage during a fight. You know? She's always nice seeing someone play to their champion's strengths. So true. Don't hate the player, hate the game. He's about to get a fucking BT. Fuck or, uh, I think in a... In a game like this, it could be better to actually just go GA. Because your team has so many threats that if you die, and like as you're respawning, the, the time and space that you bought with the GA is probably going to have your teammates all clean up for you. I think he can build whatever the fuck he wants, to be honest. I, I, yeah. I think BT probably is what I would recommend, just because it lets you play real aggro and eat their poke and just heal up instantly. Yeah. But it doesn't really matter. GA also makes sense in case you just somehow get caught hardcore. Nah, it just I think GA just lets you do certain things that would normally be bad. Like put yourself in a position where you're trading one for one with the carry. Like flash in and make a make a play. And then like you, you get value you get value out of it the faster you get it too. So I think like when you're ahead it definitely makes a lot of sense. Make it like two or three GAs off it during the rest of the game. Oh, <laughs> holy shit! I I hate dodging Zeri W. The it's like the whole game you're like on edge. What is? Why is he just spam channeling the ult? I don't know. Flabber he can't. He's actually bored. What's the punish? It's always up. Flash oh. done. Great one wow. shot. GG, game over. All right, that was random. Huh. The game kind of felt close for a sec, but it was never close. Like, it, C9 was never gonna lose a 5v5 played normally. Yeah, I mean, based on this gold lead and shit. Oh, what a weird yeah. game. I mean, it really just came down to like, laning, I guess, I mean, like, you can call it draft if this is how the matchups are supposed to go. Like, I'm not... It doesn't I seem like these so, matchups yeah. are super one-sided. Like, I don't know. I think they just kind of, like, got behind and stayed behind. I... I don't think that Lucianami just shits on Zeri. It's always up, by the way. Like, 
think that's one thing to think about is like in every in every region it's it's not that common to ban Lucian Nami, but it is well, really common to first pick Zarian. People don't Well like I said, it's it's not just like they win the whole game. I, I think they win early and they'll yeah. win and they'll win like slightly heading into mid game, but like Zeri is just Zeri and like Lulu's really strong too. Like I think they're definitely probably the better bot lane, right? Zeri mm -hmm. Lulu? Definitely. <laughs> That's why I think they're taking it. That makes sense. No, there, there's a win con for sure early. They, they could have gotten like some pressure and probably like 15 to 20 CS ahead played better. Um, yeah, and then they do. And maybe that would have just been enough. Like to... they just start one shotting people. And it's like okay, like this is fucking hard to play until Zeri's at three items, and then it's like all right, my turn, bitch. Yeah, dude, I forgot Zeri steals people's shields and gets move speed from shields. Yeah, is that is that shit ever relevant? Uh, it makes it you go over is. heals. It actually is relevant, but you don't think about it. Yeah, it, 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 it definitely happens. makes her really good in Enchanter versus Enchanter matchups, and also makes her really good with Overheal, because like, if you get a 1 HP shield, you still get the move speed from Overheal. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Neela, they want a Silver Scrapes, I see. Ooh. Neela's so good. Oh, oh what the hell, draft's going on? <laughs> I don't know how good she is. Some games she looks really fucking broken, and then a lot of games she looks so incredibly useless. If anything, it's just exciting. I think she's below average, but has potential to do something. It's kind of like it's kind of like Yasuo. I think Yasuo is really below average champ, but like he can make a big play, which is better than playing. Uh, hmm, what's a good example? Like Caitlyn. Caitlyn's below average, but she can't really make a good play. There's a timing where she's three and the enemy bot lane's two. That's pretty huge because typically when she has all three of her abilities and she instantly gets two charges E, she can go all in. Obviously, great synergy with Yumi as well. Amplified healing and shielding and stuff. Um, yeah. What does C9 take R4 here? R4. The Poopy is banned, so we're not going to see the same matchup again. Trundle seems reasonable. Orin's up. That kind of deters that pick. Ooh. Good against Wukong, anyway. Is it just an Aatrox blind? I think you, oh, try to, you try to pick something that's really good against a lot of melee champs. Seraphine can be okay. Maybe not this game, though. Yeah, I like that. I really like the Aatrox. I think Seraphine mid would actually be pretty good. I would not mm. be surprised to see him do that. Maybe you want to play something a little more self-sufficient, though, because Zarya and Luther are going to play as a unit, and then, like, for you, you don't want to play something vulnerable that can just die and get one shot. Like something that can go side lane? Yeah. What can you, or what just can you pick into Azir, though? Talia's out. Oh, Talia would be pretty good against a bunch of melees, right? So actually, Yeah, and unfortunately, it's banned. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Oh, Tuya could be good here. Oh, I guess they are going Seraphine. I think if ever, if if anything, C9 would be pretty happy to just oh, permanently. Die. They, oh. they, they're just gonna keep going on Seraphine. Why do these people keep the fucking problem. hovering champs that I like that they're not actually ever gonna pick? It's a bait for you. Belveth hovers. Dude, like my hovers. favorite fucking champ is Kaisa, and every time Whippo just gets my hopes up. Dude. I say it's so not tilting. your favorite champ. Your favorite champ's Lucian. True. It's tied, actually. Dude, when I Lucian and Kaisa interview... are meta, they are, like, so fucking fun. There was a statistic I saw about Zeri getting, like, what was it, like, 30-something Pentas since she was released? And in this exact same time, like, the second highest was Kaisa. She had, like, 20-something Pentas. <laughs> So they just like kept releasing these cleanup AD carries that just like collected Pentas like no other champ could. We love them. More of them. More Pentakills. What's your game time? Cool. Uh, three minutes? Three or one? Okay, you're like three oh, I'm enemy. a little behind you. Oh. Count, count, yes. count. Six. Eight. Nine, ten, Seraphine Blue or Flash. Okay. As right. predicted. 
I'm good. Oh! Dude, this is literally just the fucking Azir play pattern. You just early gank the lane to get their flash, and then you, you scoop them in. What do you guys think about Neela's Q hitting turrets? Do you think that's... It's relevant? super strong. It's strong, but it, it doesn't feel out of place. Mm -hmm. Her auto attacks don't feel like real auto attacks until unless she has her Q buff up. Yeah. Yeah. Noon Quiver Rush. She does shred turrets. Can her Q crit turrets? No. If she has crit boot. True. Nice. No. That was a zinger. Always zingers All right. here. Does Azir get... He should get six off the melees of this wave. Let's see. Medios was right. 530. Oh, he hit six. Oh! Oh! Fuck, how did he know? How are you Go. so smart? Dude, it's just... It's just so hard to know. Oh, yeah, wait, another trivia. Do you guys know the, the formula for, like, how much XP it is to, to level? There's a really easy way to know. Required XP to level? No. Like, like the total XP to go from level 6 to level 7. Do you know what no it idea. is? No idea. No. What's the formula? It's like the level you're going to times 100 plus 80. So like level 1 to 2 is 280. 2 to 3 is 380. So 6 to 7 780. Wow. Hmm. You're just flexing right now. No, I just looked it up one day because I was curious. And I didn't realize it was like such a easy... Okay. But did you know it. that the Krabby Patty secret formula... Oh. Wait, Have you on. ever injected it into your veins? Wow, he's just... Oh, wait. They when did Hootie flash? Dead. Yeah, I didn't yeah, realize I the flash was down. Did they show that? I think so. Oh, miss a cannon. Berserker's actually washed. I think he would get uh, that. It's kind of tilted true. watching this guy. So fucked up. Okay, but the Krabby Patty secret formula is actually in all likelihood nothing because Mr. Krabs is really cheap and he would like to save money on extra ingredients. Mm-hmm. And it's also the only ingredient that really makes sense. It's nothing. Yeah. Then why can't other people recreate it? Because they think that there's some sort of secret formula, but it's really just a uh, SpongeBob skill as a fry cook. Well, one of like the funniest shit with Boy Boy is like every time I see, not every time, but like he'll always reference this incident of like where we were at Fogo to Chow and he's like, yeah, you, you recited all the Pokemon from like one to 150 and I've <laughs> literally never known them. Like, I don't even <laughs> what know what fuck? fucking order the starter Pokemon coming, but he's with? so confident that it happened that I'm just like, I don't know how to respond to it because it never <laughs> happened. Like, I've never in my life known all the Pokemon. <laughs> Maybe it's a dream. I mean, it was probably just a different player. Wow, someday got... Dude, Fudge's E got canceled by Blabber. Oh! Wow! Ow. I think Fudge is dead here. Oh. Go back and see Blabber's filler. He canceled Fudge's E with it. I'll probably replay it. The secret ingredient is love? <gasps> No, oh, because there's no way that Mr. Krabs would think of that. He's too greedy. I don't know, the anime, Mr. Krabs, like, wasn't actually greedy. That did not stun <laughs> Did it cancel him? I think it still hit him, but it just made it so he couldn't follow up. No, it didn't stun. It got canceled for sure. That was just unlucky. Um, Literally watching it at 0.25. Do it. Tell me if something in the game happens. Oh something yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you're right. He goes airborne from the pillar, but he doesn't actually get stunned. Damn, that is uh, pretty unlucky. Uh, what game time are you at now? Oh. 
And is this Camille pick just gonna lose them the game? They're just having to babysit Fudge the whole game and he's still not even winning. Maybe. Kind of cocky. Cox. Nice. Very mature. Thank you. Man, if I get one more call from this number, I swear I'm just gonna fucking freak out. <laughs> Turn the phone off. I'm blocking this caller. Dude, it is really weird to see Seraphine going Ludens this game of all games. Like, he's up against triple melee. Usually... How do you know he's going Ludens and not uh, Leandris? Yeah, how do you yeah. know? Ooh, my stream for Okay, wait, he's I... so confident. I guess as a saving grace, he's like main he's like the team's main AP damage, so he wants to do as much damage as possible. It's just Leandris is pretty good against Bruiser champs. Yeah. Dude, they just want to reach you about your extended car warranty. And you don't want you don't even want to talk to them. You're so rude. You're so ego. No, it's just food Dude, I'm, I'm like I I if I had an option to not be able to make calls with my phone, I would 100% do that. Just like not even have a functional number. <laughs> There's you... never been someone who's called me on the phone and it actually been like a, a, a thing I wanted to pick up. <laughs> Wait, what? What about like haircuts, doctors, dentist appointments? No, oh, fuck them. Fuck them all. Okay. Agreed. I just can't wait for it to get to the next level where like I get a donation and it's... <laughs> We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. I mean, if, if, if they're going to pay to say some dumb shit, sure. I've definitely had people advertising stuff on donations. Oh, 100%. They're like, yo, dude, can I get a quick shout out? Well, Did you guys ever watch the Netflix show Archive 87? No. No. Or 76 or some shit, I forgot which. Oh, it's it's it was pretty good. It's, it's kind of like that. It's like this guy, or not this guy. This girl goes into a cursed apartment and there's like, there's like a cult and there's like some killers and there's like some crazy shit happening and Woo! they're trying to figure out what's going on. Oh, hmm. Closer's just fucking dead. And I'm oh, dying. Yeah, just, fucking dead. just fucking dead. Oh, wait, wait, shit. wait, wait, wait. Zeri is Wait, Zeri is so oh, fun to play against. That Nila ult didn't do anything. FBI just barely got his E back up. Charging yeah, it off of the nearest there. target. Can you believe that Zeri's E used to interact with Rudod? That's like the first thing that gets nerfed on every AD carry. So, uh, yo, the cooldown you sell with Rudod's, uh, should we just let it do that? Or should we <laughs> take it out of the game preemptively? It's like Kai'Sa, Caitlyn, Headshot, like fucking every AD carry. Graves? Yeah. That's like the first thing that gets taken out of the game. Yeah. What I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? Because, like, if their Runan's interaction is too good, then you can only build it, right? And it just becomes Yeah, but like... when are we going to learn our lesson before, like, the champ oh. comes out. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the designers are just like, yeah, let's just see what happens. If it's a problem, it is. It. Legit, yeah. Ooh, that flash by Abadake was quite pointless. Boom. Wait, I'm, I'm not like mentally one. ready to watch the Killer Bean movie yet, but. <laughs> I was the bean so killer. Oh. Uh. I feel like no one on C9 was expecting that. Give me all. Wait. Wait, Closer is smurfing oh. so hard. What? Oh. oh, that was nice. Closer is smurfing so hard. He's breaking your ankles. Man, or. Oh, okay. Berserker? What? Oh my I god. I think that's quite a forward position for an AD carry. I don't know. Uh, well, actually, he's a melee. Yes, he's melee. And I... Did you guys see what Closer did? It looked like he was getting caught yeah. and he just said, fuck you, and flashed in and got every CD from the enemy team. He got a zero shuffle. He kind of yeah, like he dodged. Out. 
yeah, yeah. And, and at the same time like with this items he's like literally not even really fed he's one and a half items he did so much damage and bought so much time i'm actually confused how that happened yeah i mean it was, it was a nice play he he instantly used his w during FBN it all, which they definitely there. didn't expect. I'm still not convinced that this is a, a good Seraphine build, but whatever. Yeah, I feel like if you're going to go Ludens, you'd want to follow it up with like, I don't know, Sork Boots or like Shadow Flame type stuff. Yeah. Rather than just heavy CDR. The I advantage guess part of it is you get move speed, like it's slightly more defensive than the Andrews. Let's see this one again. The the Yumi ulti actually goes wide pretty early. It doesn't get much going. Then Closer just flashes in his whole and, and yeah. Dodges the zero ulti with his W, which is really cool. He's just taking pretty so filthy. much attention from the enemy team and like Berserker ha he doesn't have to kill himself to finish the kill, but it, like it's hard to make that decision like in the moment if it's worth it or not. Yeah, I mean, a melee AD carry does have a pretty completely different role comparatively to a range, because to do damage, you have to go in. It's like a regular-ass top laner. Yeah, for sure. That's always been the issue with, like, non-AD carries in the bot lane, though. It's just that, like, yeah, AD carries have the most specialized, like, game knowledge of anyone. Yeah. AKA one tricks. <laughs> Don't actually know how to play the game. <laughs> so you put them on anything other than that, and they're completely lost. <laughs> that That's a true. pretty wildly different point than what I was saying, but, uh, oh. but all right. Oh, okay. sorry. Nikki, I, thought, I, I just really Nikki, thought we were all carries are bad. really different than ranged. Medios. Yeah, AD carries don't know how to play the game at all, and they're all terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I, that might, might, might have been a bit of red herring in there. <clears throat> nah, I th you're right, though. It's... It's really different. Uh, that's why I like supportive type champs like Seraphine, Senna, with Karma, AD, like AD carry, you know, farming Karma, whatever bot lane. It's it's a lot of the same. If you play, it, like, you can easily transition between AD carry and those champs because it's like positioning wise is the same, mindset wise it's pretty much the same. And then playing shit like Neela is fucking weird and Mages is weird. Yeah. I guess Neela, the, the similarities is like. Usually the win con for AD carry is literally just like farm up, right? Like get to a point where you can just kill everyone with auto attacks. Yeah. I, th I think AD carries have the worst time with mages in my experience because mages, like they don't just win by farming up. They have to actually like, yeah, you know, be pretty aggressive. And it's just weird putting a bot because they're like under leveled and. I think the mage set is like the most consistently easy for AD carries to play is Cassio. That's the one that like I understood the best because she's so similar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sustained damage, right? Like she just hits plus the target, pumps damage. Yeah. Now that's more like a like again, Jensen gets fucked by oh. dude closer. Oh wow! It felt like it felt it's like just over. One it's, ago, over. It's, over. it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Why would we troll pick in game four, man? It's over. But I don't for know. Who? Neela is not a champ, but... I don't think Camille or Neela are champs. Nah, that's a good point, that's a good point. Yeah, I agree with that. Was well, that not Jensen getting caught, guys? Oh yeah, yeah it doesn't it's, matter it's, though. It's play, it's play more than picks for sure, but... Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Jensen's perfect, his team didn't comp just trolled, feel like close your flash on Jensen? Like, it, it, it didn't... Maybe we're just talking about such stupid shit that like time is flying, but like, it didn't feel like four minutes between that happening, twice in a row. <laughs> I'm also really surprised that it was a chain CC the way that it was, where Jensen couldn't press a single button. Because the, mean, the Wukong knockup's not that. His team was on him, right? Yeah. Jensen's about to body these fools. Whoa! Ooh, closer's, wait, closer's getting shit on. Closer's one HP. Can Abadage just do his Jensen's double W right now? Scoop. Come Dude. on, Jensen, do it! Do it! Oh, Zeri got it. Oh! Wait, who he's? Hold dead? up! This isn't bad for C9. Wait, yeah. someday might. Jensen has flash. She could oh, very no. well die here. Oh! Someday's gonna try flash on Jensen. Oh my god! Oh, wow, he got it, but he oh! didn't kill him with it. The Wait, damn, I'm surprised Berserker. Jensen didn't expect it, actually. Berserker! Berserker! Oh my god! Oh, they just oh wow. Spots. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's Wait going. 
Oh, he going! Wait a fucking second. He says, get he over here. Wait, he catches them. He definitely catches them. Yeah. Oh, the blast cone, maybe not. Oh. Wait. Bye-bye. Oh, he's Holy dead. fuck. Wow, that actually ended up being good for C9. That is very surprising. I mean, did you did see Hunter any Jensen not troll letting closer to the one HP tanking Baron, though? I'm pretty no, sure that, that was just... It, that wasn't him tanking. He just tanked fucking Jensen. You didn't see him uh -oh. get stabbed? Jensen I completely cum dumpstered him over the wall. Was he at full HP when he started getting stabbed? He was like above half, and then he just got oh. shit on. All in all, I wouldn't feel that bad if I was 100 Thieves. Like, yeah, they got Ace. It could have been way worse. They got the Baron. They kind of got Soul as a win condition, like, off the map. So, in terms of game state, after they respawn here, it's like pretty much back to even before this fight happened. Because, like, they, they killed the enemy team here, took Drag, took Baron. Then they got aced. I'd say it's like the money changed hands, but because their comp scales better, it's better for them. It just feels bad that the last thing that just happened, the momentum is from C9. You're a little hell of us too, Devlift, by the way. I am? Yep. Shit, oh, we'll sync up after this. Yeah. Yeah, Closer definitely misplayed a lot by, by but dude, that was so close to being insane. If C9 gets Baron, I think that would have been a huge. Could very well be the series. Could look at the FPS positioning here. He 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 definitely freaked out a little bit and spent way too too long, like you know, what? running away. Dude, Jensen surviving that was so fucking lucky. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Here's the swap Rooney. Ready? Oh, that's Dude, funny. <laughs> I almost feel like if he, he I thought their hitboxes were gonna collide. <laughs> You should just not go over the wall there. What's the point? You know, what what is the only way that FBI could ever live that is by eating over the wall anyways, so just wait for him. True. Game time? 28, 29, 30, 30 30 31. You wanna stop or? I'm with double if. Oh, really? Yeah, sneaky. How okay, how did I, I get behind? Medias. Because. 41, so you can't 42, keep up. 43. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one more second. You're, you're like oh. half a second behind. 51, 52. Yeah, I'm there. Closer flashing oh. again. No one flashes on Jensen three times in a row and one shots him. This is a good slide out by Jensen. I mean, it's, it's, this is now just a complete repeat of the last situation we saw. Like, it's one minute on Soul for the enemy team. Uh, this time Baron's not up for the team that wins it, but it's like, it is really sketchy for for um, Hundred Thieves. Oh, Blabber has no flash, but he doesn't die here. He just exchanges ults. That's better for Blabber. On a trundle with no ult is really not a champion. But neither is Wukong. I think I would so I would rather be a Wukong with no ult than trundle with no ult. Oh wow. No, I mean, turn all feels so fucking bad. I would about to pop a heal right here. Oh, wait, it didn't do anything. Wait, I would argue he has flash. This seems fine for him. I don't like that Hunter Thieves gave up this position. They shouldn't have let C9 walk like that. That was, that's their control. Like, if you're getting face checked on, you need to be willing to challenge the enemy team where you can end up in a weird spot like they are now. Oh God, they're Ooh. in a super weird spot. And who has no flash? Oh, Ooh, but he doesn't get punished. He's okay. Dude, Bunch fight could this! Have, I mean, it's, it's gonna this. be so awkward for 100 Thieves to fight fight this, man! Wait. Zerker's initiating, what the 100 fuck? 100 Thieves fights that! What the fuck is that? They're just walking in their face. There's no, there's no contest. I don't even that care. That was a really 45. disturbing gameplay by C9 there. Like, 100 Thieves are in such a bad spot. They have to funnel through this tight choke, and then they just waste Yumi ult and give up the positioning. That was very troll. Dude, hmm. 100 Thieves should fight. Fudge is so far away though, like he's not even flanking at this point. Oh. Okay, okay, no Dude. steal from Blabber, holy shit. Wow, C9 wants a game five desperately. Closer's dead, Closer's dead. Oh. It's over, it's over, how do Thieves loses this? Wait, wait. I don't know, wait. wait Jensen's what? still full, they're, they're, okay. C9 wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah C9, C9 wins. wins oh, can they kill him? Oh wow. Jensen's been playing so fucking well this playoff. Wait, look dude. at this! Look at this epic battle in fucking pit. Wow. Somebody somehow gets bot out. Battle bot lane. I think Jensen wins this. Oh, Sven stole it. What a little bitch.
they threw the whole fucking world at FBI that fight and it worked. I think he pretty much just needed a stopwatch or there's no way he can survive. How, how can, I'm trying to see, how can FBI ever live this? I guess he can go over the wall to the left. Let me see. Wait, F FBI ults, okay. And now he just needs to somehow get out of here, forehead. Just get out of here, forehead. Kind of yeah. doesn't really push anything. And then locked in. The budge ult. Yeah. He, he would have needed to knock a Camille ult in. He needed to peel for Camille. It's hard. Lulu used to polymorph on Neela. I'm not totally sure that was the right play. This fight between Someday and Fudge lasts so long. Wow, at the end of the day, like, the fucking dust settles on that fight and it's. Did you see that? <laughs> eight, the perfect damage? UV, no, the perfect UV lasted of the kid. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't see it. Jets are just sitting there and waiting for the Yumi Q. Boop. I mean, he actually needed it for the item. For Michael's, yeah. Yep. That's pretty huge. Sometimes I feel like the supports forget to buy Vigilant Wardstone after 13. It's, it's like the amplifier of like haste and AP and stuff, and even gives even gives just all around good stats. Super value item. Is it? I see yeah, people get it every once in a while, but I've, I was never under the impression that it's like. Broken. It's like 1100 gold for like 20, 30 haste, like some AP amplifier, HP amplifier. Like it gives you so many stats for the gold it costs. Mm. Yeah, could be. I've just not seen it enough. I try to always remember to buy when I play support because it's like kind of sleeper broken. I was under the impression it's good on like more carry type champs. Like, I think I saw it on Senna recently. Hmm. I mean, it also lets you have two pink ports down at once. Yeah, that is pretty nice. Jensen's on four items plus stopwatch, and she's on two and a half and no stopwatch. She's so disadvantaged in a fight. Even though her kit is broken, Azir's is up there as well. Oh, I think that will not work good, sir. Wow, is he just dead? Okay, okay. good use of stopwatch. He can buy some time, and he still has ult. I, I like see the we did there buy that. some time. <laughs> oh, oh can they get some here? Wait, or he's oh. baiting. Oh. Someday just oh. actually not gonna God. kill someday. Oh he's back to four HP, dude. Wait, Wait, Berserker's just he just fucking solo killed Seraphine. It doesn't matter though. He solo killed the the pseudo support. Does he... oh. It doesn't matter though. Oh, it doesn't oh, matter. Oh God. Oh God. Wait, does For it B. not? For B. It, it doesn't matter. Like it matters. For B. Oh. No, it, it does matter. <laughs> And he's dead. Oh, that was a nice E by Camille. U using it at the wall and then jumps off at Zeri. Sweet that Jesus. was spicy. That's soul. Yeah, that's soul for C9. They are, we're not getting the silver scrapes. No, sir. Are you sure about that? Dude, I, I want to watch to see what Berserker did to Seraphine there. He actually, like, no one else assisted the kill. He just full on soloed him. He probably did some combination of Q, W, E, R, and auto attacks. <clears throat> you Wait, actually might right. be right for once. You probably did do that, huh? Dude, some days HP just went full fucking ping pong mode this fight. Jensen couldn't connect to him. Like, Jensen actually got no damage on some day. Oh, so he flash flashes in, in ults? He's, He's actually immune to autos right here. He's dodging. Wow. Wait, he kills huh. two. Wait, who that was, was over the wall huge. and he flashed in and died? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really good positioning by Berserker ready to catch no, that one. No, but like FBI is actually, <laughs> FBI must be fucking annoyed at himself there that he didn't flash the Azure ulti and he got caught by it with E instead. If he plays that differently, like if he flashes the Azure ulti and has his E still up, I think he can win the 1v2. 1v3, I guess. Can you Zeri E through an Azure ult? I'm like once sure. it's already down probably it does seem to count as terrain 
Remember yeah, when so Azir's ulti would just bounce back? Yeah, I was just thinking that. Like that, yeah. it was so so obnoxious. It was so funny. Oh wow! Wait, just bounce. Just just got Baron. Just walk up and get Baron for free. They just got well, Baron. FBI is in the middle of nowhere again. I don't like oh, it. They're, they're kiting out the serials really well. Yeah, good. They shouldn't fight anymore. Hundred Thieves uh -oh. is overcommitted. Uh oh. Somebody's ult ran out. Just closer is looking for the engage. Only gonna find Blabber. I think C9 uh -oh. should keep going. Oh, they can get hard kited by Seraphine though. Let's see the they next Seraphine W. Just play it. Wow, this Dude, is so next weird. Someday so TPing back weird. with full HP. Dude, no. Oh, yeah, I the think TP Seraphine is... is advantaged here. Look at this yeah, heal. Yeah, yeah, the, the TP is gonna make Ooh. it fuck. They gotta get out. Can they escape? Yeah, they're Looks fine. Like wow. So, uh, how did C9 just let that happen? That didn't seem right. Yeah, I don't know. They just kind of got caught off guard. Infernal Soul is actually one of the worst. I think Maybe it's even the weakest. The, yeah, it actually might be the worst, which is funny. The individual drags are really good, but it's even between the two. There's two to two. But the actual Infernal Soul buff is straight up I mean, the worst, probably. I think it... But, like, the worst in context of, like, it's still a strong buff. It, yeah, but every yeah, other soul but, is but just it's, it's comparing to souls because the thing with Infernal is it's only damage. Like there's no actual extra effect. Plus, like the proc can get used on minions or something. Whereas, but like every like, other a, soul gives you some kind of like thing that you can't get otherwise. It's a short ass cooldown. I don't know. It's it's not bad. Man, which he, one is he, which he one is, is just the he, which soul is make, worse than you're Infernal, making though. it sound like it's bad. Oh, it's no, just no, no, fucking no. the it's, worst Every one. soul is uh, obviously uh, really... Every Infernal soul is obviously soul? really advantaged. Uh, but which soul is I mean, <laughs> Just from my personal experience, I, I feel like I see a, a Infernal Soul lose the most of souls yeah, that people get. I agree. It's the one that can most easily be thrown. Because, like, compared to Hextech, right? It's like... It's just damage it's, that can is mitigated by resistances. It... I mean, what doesn't about have any, like, Ocean? CC like, component. haven't we always said Ocean is fucking trash? I, I thought it was, like, I think the durability update made it a lot better. I thought before, pre-durability, I said Ocean was the worst. I think now it's pretty decent. Yeah, I think Ocean's definitely pretty solid. <clears throat> I don't know yeah, if it's... Yeah, but you liked Ocean before, so... <laughs> I, I've always liked it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's as bad as you guys are making it sound like. Like, I don't think it's a... I don't think Infernal is a free win, but I don't think any of the drags are truly a free win. It's just, From what I've been like, seeing, like Cloud and Hextech champs? are the hardest the hardest two drags to play against are Cloud and Hextech, and then it's probably like Mountain and Ocean are kind of in that middle tier where they're really good, but not like, you know, you can maybe still win, and Infernal's like, doesn't seem to make too much of a difference to have it. Well, we'll see on this elder fight that's happening in a minute. Yeah, yeah I, feel I, mean, like I, I think it depends on the comp for all of these souls for which one's actually like really strong and which one's decent. Like, like you're saying, Ocean is really good on a tanky comp that actually makes use of the regen. Yeah. And Infernal can actually make quite a difference on like a burst champ, right? Like it, it, it's the difference between legit just killing someone and them barely living. Yeah, that's it's, true. It's, but I, I compare it to like how. How much value is it compared to, like, an item, right? As an AD carry, I feel like a lot of the time, Infernal Soul is probably not even worth one item. Like, you get more damage from picking up, like, a Lord Dom or something than you would from the Infernal Soul. Oh, but, yeah. Well, no no shit. That's that's not even close. How do you even, like, yeah, but, like, do that with, like, Mountain, though? Like, like I like Mountain, but I would never say anything about it compared to an item. I mean, you could compare the, the health value. To what? Plus, it just it allows you to do something that you can't do otherwise. Just like have this fat as fuck shield that, like, allows you to take poke. It's not yeah. that fat. Way more durable. Pretty fat. I mean, I, I I like mountain, but it's not that fat of a shield. Well, yeah, it's like a little bit of shield, but I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see if someone gets bursted fast. Like, I think you're undervaluing it, like, across the whole team, too. 
Like, imagine five Infernal Souls proccing on one dude. Like, that's a lot of fucking damage. I, it, I think it's... Like, we're, we're comparing Infernal Soul to other souls, though. Not Infernal Soul but to why? nothing. Like, you yeah, should, it, it's you should, strong. You should say it's use in general. It should be just its use, right? Like, not necessarily comparatively. Because that's the soul of this game. Like, what's it going to do? Is it, is it useless? Like, no. <laughs> uh-huh. What? Hey, it's okay, guys. <laughs> How about this elder fight? We are getting a fight here. This tanky-ass elder dragon. Flip it, flip it's it. Just, this, I don't think just... C9 actually wants to. Oh, nice, Yumi all. Wait, oh, Abadogi oh, just gone. Oh, it's, over. it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. GG, GG, GG. It's over. C9 makes worlds. Wow, fat scoop. That, that three GAs. Dude, Holy how moly. did Abadogi end up dying first there? I fucking knew it. That champ is actually not the right pick this game. He can't. He can't survive. Like, he just is always the target of the engage. It does G seem like Seraphine does G. better having, like, very tanky champs on her team and not yeah, being a mid laner. Yeah, that can just form a meat shield in front of her. But, like, this game, it's like, she's part of the front line. I mean, they, they just don't have a front line. I, it seems like that's been a big weakness for a lot of these teams. Like, when you run enchanters, like, teams that pick Orn have been winning. Like, if you don't have Orn, you want to get, like, Poppy, Trundle. <laughs> the, the value of like, fucking berserker. The value of having a frontline versus not has always been like a huge deal. Damn, C nine. Crazy. Is that wax? Waxy Maxi. I was actually right about all my predictions, but not on the the number of games. Dude, same. That was cool. I, I'm surprised to see Neela win a game in playoffs. Is her first game? Berserker's well, played her before. She, yeah, she got played by Berserker before and they lost. Hmm. Was it? nice shoes are kind of cool. Was it, uh, it was in playoffs too? The other T9? No, 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 regular season. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, did see, I did see Gen G pick Nella and win. Really? Well, if it gets picked in Korea, you can probably comfortably assume the Koreans in LCS are going to play it. Yo, that ref just told Berserker, put on your mask, bitch. <laughs> it's funny. I've got fudge. Whether it was a meme or not, you told Travis Gafford it was going to be a 3-0 in the opposite direction. Why do you keep predicting sweeps but giving us three ones? I don't know. We played pretty poorly today, so we actually didn't 3-0 them. But um, honestly, we did, had a lot of confidence going into this series. After we beat EG, we thought they were the best team. So we were pretty uh, confident. And then coming into 100 Thieves, I didn't really feel like Someday had a very good champion pool. He sort of just played Aatrox every single game. So it was pretty free. Pretty free. <laughs> You are in the finals of the LCS. You were already going to Chicago, but you're in that matchup. First time since 2021. I saw you in Houston, but it was as an attendee. What does it mean to get to go in this fashion? Um, everyone doubted us. Going into playoffs, people thought C9 was shit. And then we beat everyone, so go fuck yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Hooray, god. That's a little extra. <laughs> Jesus. So doubters of all that have not believed in Cloud9. That's Nine actually a, a teams, fine. Which will be That's a fine. You in That's the a finals. quick Probably. fine. Is it a rematch against 100 or somebody Probably. else going to come through? So for the Cloud9 believers that have stuck with you, what words would you like to say to them? Thank you for not believing in us. What? What? So keep not believing, apparently. Thank you, Fudge, for joining me for the interview. Huh. Lots of pop-offs from multiple members of what Fudge. What is he talking about? He seems to be a little bit like... That was not a good look from Fudge. That was... He, he, 
I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it seems to have like the victim complex. He's yeah. something about something. I don't know what it is. He's though. that dude who like scrolls to the bottom of a Reddit thread to find the one person saying bad things about him and then saying like, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> damn, dude, the C9 subreddit. <laughs> I'm going to main broadcast. Our fans uh, hate us. It's going to be through zero in the middle. Wait, it's so delayed. Oh my God. Yeah, it is. I muted. I don't want to hear what he said again. That was kind of cringe. <laughs> yeah, 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 true. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I got to go to the actual main main Wait. stage or sorry, main stream to hear this. Thanks for uh, not it, believing like, in do us. Do you have words for the people who believed in you? Yeah. It, it, he <laughs> didn't answer like, the Thanks question. for not believing. Like what he, are you he, saying? I, I think man. he was like really tunnel visioned on on uh, you know playing like the edgy cocky like underdog victim of like of like hatred Listen from the high. fans yeah so when you're doing this teleport can you kind of run me through what's going on in your head here like do you expect to end the game here and if not like what are the comms like um basically we know that there's going to be a big contest around the i believe this is the elder dragon yeah um, so they're all fighting all right well you can kind of see it but yeah, yeah so there's like <laughs> a lot of dancing around the elder dragon here mm -hmm. so we thought like if we just stall them for as long as possible i will have to make them make a hard decision right they either mm -hmm. have to like recall or like force a fight immediately and since I guess I didn't really see what happened, I guess they forced the fight and I don't know what happened, but <laughs> it's hard for them to make the right decision in this moment. So this turned out to be the right play, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I think I actually almost inted because I didn't realize the puppy. I think the puppy coming now, he's like one HP. Yeah, you'll yeah. see the I was, I was watching this back. I was like, I wonder why you yeah. didn't just ult and kill the puppy. Yeah, but... here I should have just killed the puppy, but I was like so tunneled on the Nexus. Wait, you actually just one shot him. him. So I know, dude. Like, I was scared it for Poppy. That we wanted the end. Yeah, nice. I was, I was like, he's there, actually so, so low. Uh, luckily that happened. That's really cool. I wasn't expecting that to happen either. I have actually one final thing here just to end off for you here. Uh, let me see. Let me just fast forward here a little bit for you. So uh, we'll, we'll just end off the clip on this. Oh uh, my so God. you do the exact same face here, by the way. Oh. The one that you just did. You see the I camera know. right here. You just do the same thing. So, uh, <laughs> Dude, I, I, I like these things with higher. Mm -hmm. his death and yeah. My team got the kill, mm -hmm. so that their tempo would be a much lower. Exactly. He's way better with the teleprompter than when he started. Gigabrain, that's why this yeah. one's the mid laner for Cloud9 now, right? Yeah. No, I mean, I think Hytes has a ton of good, like, questions and insight that you don't get from a lot of interviewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it's good. Yeah, yeah, that's and actually the, true. And the ability to bring up the games themselves and ask, like, very specific questions. Yeah, well, like yeah. How he's like, oh, you did the same thing right there, and he circles yeah, him doing funny. it. Yeah, that's funny. That's fucking funny, I'm not gonna lie. That was good.